Okay, now everything should be functioning as intended this time. I sure, wow, woo. I sure do love when I boot up the stream and it gives me the wrong streaming credentials. Good, good, good. Um, welcome, Crit Fam. Uh, happy Friday, everyone. Hope everybody had a great week and is going to start with a great weekend. I'm Sean. It's your boy, the production guy from Control Alt Crit. Uh, back with another video. Oh, God, that sounds like the most. Uh, youtube-esque thing i've ever said uh today i wanted to sit down and play a uh a a game that has been in development for a while by a very good friend of mine uh who has been uh I, i'm gonna say it again because he's like he's like you need, you need not be so nice about this but i'm like no you are uh an incredibly creative mind that has done a a, that has been working his ass off with the sheer amount of development work that has been done. Uh, and I'm glad that I can finally sit down and play it. Uh, we're here tonight with Lucas Gilbertson. Uh, Hello. How, uh, how's it going, Lucas? It's been, it's been a little bit. It's been a really long time. So thank you for keeping up with me. And, you know, we, we first started talking about doing something like this, like, I don't know, two years ago now or something like that. So it's nice to finally have something to show. And I think it's, I, I can talk for a moment about like what exactly we're showing. Cause you have me here as the, the lamp black dev, you know, and this is to dream of dancing. So, um, I don't know. I kind of feel like we should just jump into that and I can explain a little bit and then we can go from there. How does that sound? That sounds good to me. Um, whenever you're also ready for me to start gameplay, I'm down for it too, but well, yeah. So let's hold off for, let's just kind of linger here on the title screen. <laughs> so. Wow. What I decided to do with all this, because I've been making, um, I've been making lamp black for a while, mm -hmm. uh, is all right. That is really loud. The game is super loud in my headphones. Yeah, can... it, it's loud for me too, which is very interesting because I have it set to twenty percent. Um... Well, I mean, my mixing in the game might be super loud too, so it's fine. I I've reduced it a little bit. I think that should help. All right, I'm just gonna roll with it. So I, I was making something called Lamp Black for a long time, uh, and it was taking so long, and I was doing so much work that I, I really wanted to have something that I could show people more frequently. Uh, and so I started segmenting it into smaller vignettes. So what Lamp Black is, is it turned into an anthology of different kind of gameplay thoughts and, and stories and stuff like that. And it's all interconnected um, by a narrative but you got to think about it more as though it's like a sequence of dreams and stuff like that. So each dream and each vignette, each demo, each piece of this game is sort of its own thing. Uh, and for the first one that I wanted to show people, I wanted to get something out kind of quick. Uh, and so I chose this bit, which is a puzzle. And I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to influence... I don't want to be the one telling you how to play until you kind of struggle with it or go or go through it on your own gotcha um but what i'm looking at right now i think i have it kind of nailed down so that there's no huge game breaking bugs there might be small glitches like every once in a while on the title screen you'll see the character stand up straight for no reason <laughs> uh that shouldn't happen but you know minor things like that can still happen but i think i have it pretty stable but what i'm interested in right now is you know is it really shitty to play like is it boring is it uh is it not compelling i think things like that are important uh, but also does it make sense like yeah. can you as a player actually understand what is going on and what's expected of you and what you're trying to do um because i think i can explain so that's why it's nice for me and you to sit down and do this together because uh if it's not clear i can talk about it and then we can have like actual immediate feedback from someone who doesn't know what i'm trying to do here uh, and we can kind of be like, so how would I better express that or show that to people or whatever? So that's, you know, as much of like a, a beginning blurb as I want to give. Okay. Um, and I'm also really excited to show off like what the next vignette will be, which will come out in like another two or three months or something like that. Oh, that's exciting. But we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that after we do a little bit of playing. Um, so really, you know, I'll, we'll talk once you kind of play for a little bit. And otherwise, I'll just kind of hang back. And I just want to know how you feel about this right i don't want to this is about you i want to see how you experience this i i appreciate it uh and this is like especially for like uh again this is a game that is an active development so uh, oh yeah good yeah point. yeah this is a prototype like basically you would rarely ever see a game in this stage unless you're part of a development team like this is pre-alpha and 
not a lot of people play alpha versions of games. So this is a uh, an incomplete piece of a larger whole. So you'll definitely, uh, in some moments, notice a, a couple rough edges. Uh, yeah. But yeah, very very early prototype. My uh, my 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 old uh, my old job uh, doing QA testing for id software will not fail me now, I suppose. Oh um, my god! So you actually you've done testing, so you know what it's like. Yeah, today. no, I I'm, yeah. I apologize if I continue to do the same action three, four, five, six times just to see if it does something oh, different. <laughs> I've done that so much. I've gone crazy. Here's the thing. Can I be honest? I hate this prototype now. I have played this so many times. Click the same buttons being like oh what happens if someone just mashes the keyboard right now for no reason like oh it crashes the game oh, i should probably fix that right like what yeah. if someone just like double clicks rather than single clicks anyway i've done my best i think it should be relatively bulletproof but i i'm willing to be humbled i i, I will say we actually ran into a really interesting uh glitch that happened as soon as i booted up the game for the uh like for i think it was like the second third time uh testing it uh, for some weird reason, this this build, this current build, crashes Steam VR on my computer. There, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It just Which happens. makes no sense. It makes right? no I have, sense. That will take me forever to track down how that's even possible, for one. <laughs> and for two, why? Right? Anyway, but... Um, I'm glad I see a comment in the chat that the title screen is hitting it already, which I really like. So, that's... that's Yeah, that's my goal. I wanted to make the whole thing really vibey and cool, so... Uh, I'm glad to see that. Thank you to thank you to the members of the Crypt Fan for coming in and showing love. I'm seeing folks on Twitch yeah, and folks out. on YouTube. Yeah, um, we'll 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 do our best to uh, check chat. I will not be really looking at chat right now, uh, but you gotta Lucas, get into it. Get into Lucas is here. Autumn is also to my left, so she can poke me if I miss anything. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get started. And also, one last thing before I do so, um, I I appreciate because this is like an an incredibly bold step after the fact that you've worked on. Oh, whoa, there comes the alerts. Good, good. Thanks, Lupara Nail, for subscribing again to Control Alt Crit. Much appreciated. Man, do I need to turn that the fuck down. Uh, <laughs> ow. Uh, but it's fine. I, I got it from here. But yeah, no, like, the fact that you're, like, you, you turn this out and then immediately just right after, like, coming in to do, do something like this, um... It, it, it's it, horrifying. Yeah, it's no. Because like, it's like so showing people something publicly. I uh, and I, at this stage is horrifying. Because like, I'm I'm aware that there's things that I could do better, and I have my own opinions on things. Even in this prototype, I need to work on. But yeah, it's it's horrifying showing people, especially like people you you know who I am, you right? And it's just like, oh man, I wish I was anonymous right now, just giving it to people who had no clue. But it, it's good. It's just that it's scary. Yeah. I I I'm looking forward to seeing what crazy stuff comes out of this. I am I'm I pressed enter. It begins. It begins. It isn't your brain doing the thinking. You aren't your you aren't wait, you said you aren't in your mind, little one? Okay. A left click and white right click button select different paths. Pay attention to the breath and select a path upon the exhale. It's not about the timing. This is a process of discovery, and there are different places to arrive at. You must listen carefully and follow what you hear. Oh, God. Oh, and I can hear her. Oh, God, I need to turn that up. I may need to still adjust the volume a little bit. Uh, apologies, folks, if it does get a little loud, but I'm doing this for my own, um, my own sanity as well as yours. So, so I can go left or right. Well, I am a lefty, so uh, I'm going to go with the correct <laughs> direction. Oh. Interesting. Uh, oh, uh, uh, what? Wow. Um, things are still happening. What, what I love about that. I'll wait for a moment. I think on your first try, yeah, your very first path that you took, I'm pretty sure, if I heard it correctly, yeah. It's the ropes of guts tied to your bones that make you dance and speak and think and whine and cry and finally bring you here to me. So you, you did an acceptable combo on your very first path, <laughs> which, which can happen. Yeah. But I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I'm, 
I'm curious, but now I must know more of what is happening. I... Okay. I messed that up. Or did I? Oh, I can still move. Something's happening? Oh! Um, um, um! Game? I... Oh, okay, it did work. I'm... Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, curious, is that... Is that Carol Ann voicing the character? It is, yeah. Okay. Not sure if she's in chat, but if she is, hello! Again! I done goofed. I, I can try again. Yeah. And so it's so hard because, like, I, I don't want to fill everything with me talking about it because I still want to let you have your own experience. So if I'm staying quiet, that's that's why. Okay. Okay. I missed, I missed it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wow. Um, I'm actually more, I'm like, I'm more impressed by like how the mocap looks on this and like how, like, it's not always fl fluid based on how I'm performing these actions, but like yeah. when it does it, when it does it well, it does it really well. And I know it's yeah. entirely just on my fuck ups. I can feel it. Well, I, I wouldn't say, um, I don't think you're, I don't think you're fucking up. There's no way to really fuck up. I think in the way it's not about timing. Um, I mean, the, the more fluidly you click in the right moments, the more fluid it'll look, but that's not, you're not being graded on that or anything. Whoa. Okay. The text on that is very hard to see. If you won't, if you want to speak, or if you want to, I can't read that at, Chris, lean. I mean, that is very difficult to read. Lean left? Is that what that said? Okay. Again? Again. Again? It is again! Okay. Oh? I can, yeah, I can hear the breathing slowly. It's interesting because sometimes I sometimes I hear the breath and then I hear um, I hear the sound of her footsteps. Yeah, that I messed that one up again. Okay. Well, okay. So like, let, let's talk for a moment. Yeah. So I wouldn't. You haven't messed anything up. Okay. I. Uh, but you did just describe something that I would consider very important to what the gameplay is trying to express. Mm. And what that was is you you talked about, you're like, sometimes I can hear her breath and sometimes I hear her foot and the breath is kind of obfuscated. I, yeah. I can't quite hear it. So I, I can talk for a moment because I think at this point, it, just in terms of me watching someone else play it, I would think, I would wish for myself that the game was communicating more clearly with you something about what it wanted from you and what you were doing and, and, and what that was influencing inside of the game. Because all you've really gotten so far is like the word again to kind of, and it's in red, so it kind of indicates like, okay, I don't know, do it again. Um, and you had the the words pop up a couple times and you have a couple ticks under those symbols at the top. Um, and that's the only real feedback other than that little um, at the bottom, right underneath the character, there's that dot that kind of grows into lines and other dots Which as you're I, playing. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that. Um, and I appreciate how the context, like, like, 
Um, I, I appreciate the context, like, when that happens. Um, I maybe... And again, and I'm sure this is probably also because there's no... Uh, I assume there's no right or wrong answer as far as, like, how you perform your movements. Like, as far as, like, what direction you're yeah. trying to go. So, I don't know. Maybe if there was, like, a... Because I'm already seeing color-coded um, instances that's happening. Maybe if there was, like, a specific, uh, like... Um, Maybe not necessarily a flash, but some type of visual cue to let you know yeah. that you're on the right track. Um, so the the cue, there is a cue. Okay. But the what I was going for with this, and 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 what we can talk about is like I might not have succeeded exactly, and and especially at this stage of development of this specific puzzle. So there is a cue happening that's telling you which way you're going and which path you're on. And what I was going for, in a perfect world, I would love it if um, people were engaged enough to want, like, they, there's enough mystery that they're they're trying to find out what it is. But what I, the impression that I get, and I might be projecting this, but the impression that I get is that people turn from think they they it's not engaging them in a, in a way it's yeah. not engaging them to be like oh there's more to discover here they're being like I don't know I just don't get it like what it, so they're not making a connection between the clues that are there and what the what the experience is so i can talk i can give you a couple lines about what more to do maybe at this point i feel like this is a good moment hey i think that'd be fine uh, i think okay, we okay. also got a question as well on twitch autumn what does it say that's something i get audio cues are a big part of this game from what i've seen thus far but what is there in place for deaf players for what Death oh, player. that's that's interesting. Yeah, what what yeah, uh, what is there in place for deaf players? That's an interesting question. At this moment, nothing. Okay. Uh, at this moment, in the future, that's where you can see the beginnings of it, where the the lights are being a bit different. Yeah. Uh, and and different color cues and things like that. In the future, that's the direction that I would go with those. Um, but the issue was is I wanted to focus on just the core experience yeah. at this time and and be like, number one, does anyone give a shit about playing it and then <laughs> and then in a perfect world what i would do is i'd have people be able to select exactly if they're deaf say they can be like okay tell me and then the game will adjust to that uh but they're right this is about following the audio cues okay i i thought i heard something but i'm i uh, yeah um and uh, yeah again keep in mind like folks this is this is a a pre-alpha build as of this point so there is still a lot of active development being made on it so let's... yeah if it if it's worth pursuing we'll we'll do it <laughs> okay i messed i i heard the breath but i didn't i i, I just performed the same action i did before and i should not yeah i just did it again I don't know why I yeah. felt like I was coming. Okay, yeah. It's funny. I've noticed even in myself playing in Caroline, we we get locked into specific patterns. Well, I, it just something feels really comfortable based on what types of movements she performs. Yeah. Like that. I just. Yeah, it's one of my favorite moves. So what you're doing in this game is um, the sounds that you think you're hearing. Like, which sounds do you notice? when you're playing uh specific like just specific kinds of like, like like there's um i i hear of course the sounds of like animals in the outdoors i hear the piano playing in the background i hear her labored breathing but it changes based on how different movements are done and i'm hearing some other sounds i don't quite uh, recognize or am familiar with so um, yeah so there's there's three main classes of sounds to pay attention to and there yeah. can be some sounds that are distractions yeah and so the intent of this game is to get people to uh, pick a sound and then follow that sound through, and you have to, it's like a trial and error thing. So I, uh, ooh, I should have been paying attention to the type of sound initially that was coming yeah. through. Okay. So there's three classes of sound in this. There's piano. There's birds or loons is specifically what type of bird it is. And then there's like negative sounds like explosions or gunshots are lumped into the same In category. Interesting. Okay. And so the goal of it is um and we'll talk a little bit more about why specifically that it is the way it is so that's just what it is we can leave it to that uh and the 
the difficulty will be exactly as you suggested a bit before, uh, is that sometimes it's hard to hear, right? Because there's multiple sounds playing at the same time. Whether or not that's fun, we can talk about later, and that's part of it, um, but that is the in intention, and that's okay if that's the experience. Okay. So the goal of it, and you did two correct combos already. You did one for the piano path. Uh, that's on the far left, I think. And you did one for, I think, the loop. No, so I, you did the, the blurry text. And that text is allowed. It is blurry. It is very hard to read. Uh, and that's fair and that's okay. <laughs> so with that in mind, uh, I can just shut up and you can kind of take another swing at it. Okay. So I've done the piano. I've done the loon. So I've, or potentially the loon, or was it the gunshot stuff? No, you, you did the gunshots. That's what it was. Okay. So the, the loon is the next one I need to focus on. I should have probably started moving still. No, it's okay. You're not being judged on the, the timing at all. Nope. And that's an action I performed before because it's a different type of... Co I went back to this combo again because I just really liked it. It's very... I, I don't know what it is about that. Okay. Okay, so which sounds do you hear? Your piano? Now, now I'm starting to hear the gunshot, yeah. so I don't want that. And I've messed it up again. Okay, I, but uh, now I now I now I understand. Okay, because I'm waiting for the specific types of sounds, and this is yeah. Because now I'm hearing knocks and other things. All but right. now, now but that... I mean, that's a valid combo, I think, for the for that path. So you should probably see another um, combo uh, blurry text thing after this. Interesting. So, um, okay. Okay. And so at this point, it's an interesting because like you're sitting here and I can tell a little bit of what's going on. Yeah. But everyone is allowed to have their own experience. Right. And, it, and it's allowed to kind of be something that you're discovering and figuring out for yourself. But I just don't know how long to let someone discover it before I jump in and discover it for them. Right. No, I'm I like I'm actually I'm still pretty like I'm engrossed in whatever I'm doing. Like, okay. I'm hell yeah. I want to see where it goes. So tell tell me if you're like I I'm annoyed and I don't want to do this anymore. Then then I I can jump in. Yeah, no, that's fair. Okay. Again. Okay. It stopped. I am trying to click, right click, and it's, oh, there it goes. That was interesting. I was kind of expecting the input to continue somewhat immediately. Yeah, that sounds like it's a, that would be a weird little glitch. There can be certain moments where the input won't register, but mm -hmm. I, I'm surprised that you had a moment where you're trying to click and it wasn't working. But I think it might have just been, okay. Um, it, yeah, at this point, it's not that it's, it's not that it's unfun, it's that I'm curious to see, like, where, okay, this, I'll try right, left, right, right. Yeah, I like what you're doing with memorizing the steps that you're taking. That's good. Left. Oh, no, at this point. Okay. No! Right. Right? Left. 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 
Very shaky. Yeah, I had one comment that the camera shake was too much sometimes. I can dial it back. Actually, sometimes the camera shake is there to obscure the fact that the mocap looks really bad. <laughs> <laughs> the, the animation. So I would recommend going through a bit slower. Like taking a few moments? Because I think one of the issues that you're having is that it can be confusing whether or not you've initiated a new sound by going to a certain dance move or if you're still hearing a lingering sound that you already triggered once. Still nothing. There was absolute silence there. So I triggered the piano for a second and then it was done. Um, so if I do nothing for a second and listen, okay, that's what I want to hear. Okay, I think I understand. I like I'm starting to understand things now. That's what I wanted. Maybe? Is that another again? Or am I actually moving? I am! Ah! Do I Whoa. not? Interesting. I... I... Done goof there. I am... I am inputting too fast. I can feel it. But that's a fair because is it impatience because you want to get you want to move through it you're no, like okay okay i want to is it I, I like i feel like i like i like i'm actually enjoying the movement so i want okay, I, okay. it's weird it's like i want to i want to continue like the um and i imagine that's entirely on the like on uh like it's on like how each movement like resonates to a person right so like yeah. like no, like the fact i just i appreciate how Free flowing the mocap is like it's a nice thing to look at. Like, okay, sick. I'm hearing something, but I don't think it's what I'm looking for. I pushed way too quick, and I've already done this movement before again, again, okay. Um, so this is where I found it helps to okay. okay on this next one I want to give you a little hand so you can see one of the cutscenes okay I'm I'm that's fine Feel, feel free, because I, I think I am starting to... Well, uh, so so what, I, what I think I need to put in there is a little a thing for people to help them... Um, in, in the beginning, the tutorial thing is like, you're going to have to use your memory. Yeah. And so right now, uh, there's a pathway that you've almost gotten a handful of times uh, off to the right. And what's happening is that you you keep on choosing the same move, and if you just adjusted one of those moves, you would have successfully completed a, the three combo thing. So yeah, right, and then the next time you got to go left. I'm assuming... I think it's one more left. So from here, I can't remember because the keep on talking over. I think that'll be it. It's something I haven't seen before. Because I reckon so this... it, it is the interesting thing because like while the paths are something like I'm looking at, I'm not Yeah, it, it's the movements I'm paying attention to. But it's also the movements that I'm enjoying the look that I'm enjoying to watch. Like it's it's weird. So I'll shut up for a moment so you can watch, but uh let's talk about that after when it Yeah. Ah! What is happening? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Damn. Uh. Rip. <laughs> hey, wait a second. This looks very familiar. I've seen some of this before. Just seeing earlier footage. I I'm I am floating. That was very Oh I am Oh my god I'm moving. Um ha 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 okay. Yeah, that's not uh, I mean it makes it now I I mean I understand the prospect of it being a dream. Being able to like control Okay. When I consider and this this is this is not me knocking you at any point in I uh, can I move through? I can move through. N prospects yeah, you can kind of disagree. Yeah. yeah, like prospects of like Oh my god, that's just that's so wacky. Um like when I think of a game that this that I kind of get reminded of, uh, and this is not me. I'm not I'm just ah. Uh, I'm reminded of like uh, I don't know if you've ever seen LSD for PlayStation One, the Dream Simulator. Like I've I, heard I, of it. I, I, I get vibes of it, like because I I've I've played through it. It it's it has like a very I mean again it's a lot more randomized of course, but like just the feeling of like how erratic it is when things happen. Like, that's kind of the vibe it gives me. I, I... Question in chat? Yeah? Uh, Lucas, did you hear that? Um, uh, Hikaru says that maybe instead of, like, um, excessive, like, uh, or like have like the excessive shake, maybe have like an intensity setting in the in the settings for that in particular. But I also feel like in that case that kind of spoils some of the aspect of like what type of gameplay you might experience. Cause I imagine the camera shake happens in more than one instance in like a different way, you know. So yeah, I, and it's true. It, I can tone down the camera shake. That's not a big deal. So that I was just one one particular small ending, I suppose. Oh so, yeah. That's one path, and the intention there is uh, you you can fly around a little bit, and I would expand that because like that's just a whole other area of gameplay where you're supposed to be able to fly around and do other stuff. Uh, kind of you know how in a dream when you go flying in a dream, it's supposed to be kind of like that. Interesting. So that that shows you that like we have that there. That's on deck, uh, and I'll go further down that path later. Uh, maybe as part of this vignette or as part of a different vignette, but that just kind of shows like that's where we're going with it. Um, cinematic and music and music of the gameplay. So, yeah, I thought you, I, I'm trying to remember now, you said something that was really interesting and I kind of forgot what it was. There's so much going on all at once. But uh, I, I, mean, I completely forgot. You said something interesting about just your experience playing the game. Because you, oh, yeah, you were looking at the movement of the character and you were seeing the movement of the little the map of your yeah. movements down below. But you were having trouble, you were paying attention to the wrong one. Yeah, I was paying attention so, to to her movements rather than the map, and I realized that the map was like symbolic of like the direction you were going. Well, I did. What's did, really cool? The, yeah. I, the thing is, is like I think what I I think I've successfully done what I what I wanted to do because yeah. that's the whole point of this. Um, it's predicated on something called attention training technique. Yeah, which is like a, a psychological thing. It's about training your attention and paying attention to things. Uh, I just thought that'd make for a really interesting gameplay style. Whether or not it's necessarily fun is a different story, but I think it's successful because it's given you a little bit of, uh, of an overload of things to pay attention to. Mm. The movement, the the map of your movements, the sounds and the sights and, and things like that. So I think it works from a philosophical standpoint. The question is, is it understandable? And do people get kind of turned off of it before it's understandable? You know what I mean? I, I uh, think, and so, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, I'm... Because, but my my brain immediately thinks of like, is it easy to convey? Uh, initially, um, I I think that what the what the the introductory information gives, um, like some of the info where it's like, don't worry about the timing, 
focus on the yeah. breadth of the character. Like, if there was a little more information, uh, maybe something like you may hear a series of sounds. Try to follow the sound that me that makes that that feels right to you or something like that. I I don't know. Like, because I, yeah, I again, you don't want to you don't want to take away like the the wonder of what's happening. I but... know, and that's what I've been struggling with is how do I tell people what to do without telling them too much and robbing them of that discovery right yeah. because like some really great puzzle games you do you start playing and you have no idea what's going on but you get drip fed just enough information and just enough feedback from your actions that you you're compelled to keep on going so so oh, yeah i think a little bit of a different write-up in the beginning and then just i'm not completely sure on how to adjust i have to do some thinking i'm not sure on how to adjust the feedback uh, but I have a couple ideas um, uh, that I'd have to test out. Why um, this is, and I imagine this is probably an artistic choice. Uh, but why is it primarily widescreen rather than being a full screen experience with UI, like like potential like UI choices on like the left or right? Purely artistic. Okay. They're, the only reason is because I thought it looked good. There's a. Uh, it's gives me the area for the UI at the top and the bottom to kind of not interfere with anything like the little map and the other symbols and stuff like that. I gotcha. Uh, the next vignette I'm working on, I ditched the widescreen format for that. Uh, this is the only one that's like that. I I feel like that could be potentially confusing for people who follow this anthology, but I also understand the need to, to want to do that from an artistic standpoint. I'm just... Yeah, e each piece is is so different i think it's okay to have it like oh, this one's widescreen and this one's full screen and, and stuff like that um i can use the real estate differently to com convey better information which is i think what i'll do yeah uh and so there might be more information in those black bars i can see that happening um oh yeah i because I, I think like having um like of course you don't want to clutter up your user interface but being able to provide i guess let's see this is the hard part because I, there's where I there's where I like see it going from uh, because I, I I I at least for what I've tested over the years of course I have I've, I've had to test games as like as um, as experiences made as like you know it's commercial get to point a to point B to point C and fulfill the the story of whatever you need to do for 40 to 60 hours rather yeah. than this case this game which is of course it it, it, it is it is taking artistic liberties. It is it is trying to it's trying to define itself by just as much of what it's not doing as much as what it is doing. Um, Which is a really good point. There there's a quote that I heard a while ago. It's from a, a guy working in a different creative field, but I thought it was interesting. Yeah. And he said um, he said everyone's trying to make something that everyone likes, and what he found was that it was really beneficial to make things. That and so I think it's also important to recognize like this is for sure not a mainstream vignette this piece especially the yeah. again the next piece which we can show a clip at some point the next piece is very much more mainstream this one is for sure going to be a bit more off-putting uh and specific not everyone's going to like this but it should still be somewhat accessible right like you should still be able to pick it up and kind of get what you're doing uh to an extent but it's definitely not like mainstream first person shooter kind of thing right? no no like for sure is, and uh, i i this I'm... is for fans of like kentucky route zero kind of thing um oh god ads ads why ads go sorry uh twitch randomly popped on we make sure that doesn't happen um huh okay well one thing i want to do before we continue and keep because i i want to see if i can get to some of the other parts of this vignette is i want to uh definitely let folks know uh about where they can actually test um, not only not only uh, to dream of dancing, but also the rest of the uh, lamp black vignettes as they as they come up. Uh, and uh, I, some of y'all who already follow the channel are already familiar uh, with the lamp black Discord. But for those of you that are not, there is a community of players or players or folks who are very interested in this project moving forward who uh, are uh, who are. Who are you know, uh, following the game. And if you are a dedicated tester or you have, like, uh, uh, are willing to stress test or go through aspects of the game and provide good constructive feedback, please join Lucas's Discord and be able to, you know, uh, provide whatever info you feel like. I'm going to go ahead and uh, post it, uh, post the link to said Discord. Um, yeah, post the link. And then I, I don't know if it's possible, but if you take the link that I sent you 
and and just show people like then oh no that's not much very much gameplay i was gonna say to show them the spaceship one to be like there's a different thing that we're doing next yeah i uh, I, be fun. i'm gonna post it in both uh both on twitch and on youtube the youtube link has just been posted of your discord uh and then i'm also gonna go ahead and uh post it to twitch but unfortunately twitch has an ad the one time i don't want my ads uh oh good uh autumn you may actually have to copy the twitch link because or like copy it on twitch because i can't seem to uh i'm gonna i'm gonna dm it to you right now it's fine i got you it's uh lucas's uh invite link i can say with reasonable confidence i'd get this game i'm not a horror fan but this game looks interesting and fun thanks hikaru i really appreciate that um but yeah no i whoa 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 and then the violins kick in um whoa, whoa. i no i'm i am very i'm i'm interested in seeing where my actions take things but i also i also don't know what any of it means and that's partially what makes it most in, like most interesting to me like i'm not there's some stimuli that i get and then a lot that i'm not getting i don't understand why certain things happen yet and some of it i think is also because i haven't been able to entirely read the majority of the text i honestly the one thing i like about this so far is how beautiful it is and how off-putting it is at the same time like yeah it's, that's great feedback yeah no that that's it's it's weird because i, I like i it it it, it and I, I but i also like i like games that try to do that have like their own kind of identity um, in a lot of cases, I don't really like to play games that are necessarily like, um, what's a good way of putting it? Walking simulators that usually have a story, but you just go from point A to yeah. point B. I was never a fan of Going Home. I was a, never a fan of Firewatch, like stuff like that. But games that basically put you on a path and then let you understand where that path leads, that that that's that's fun shit to me. That's fine. I love that stuff. Um, yeah, and I've always I've been a huge fan of a number of genres like Walking Sims. I'm all about. I play a wide variety of stuff, but the the trick is trying to figure out what can I make. Like, what am I capable of making? Or is also something that other people want to play. Yeah, right. And that that's a slightly different game as well. So it's like, okay, what about this? This is something I'm interested in making. I think it looks cool. Do people want to play this? And maybe not. That might be the answer, but maybe. And it feels like this one right now is a solid maybe. It's like, oh, it's close, but there's aspects that hold it back. What if I go this way? No, there's nothing. I can hear the sound of you landing on the floor. Ooh, look at that. He bounced up for a moment. Yep. This isn't again. But I can at least recognize, like, where I'm... So, when I initially did this, it was right. Or was it not right? Are you talking about the first your first playthrough? Yeah, I'm trying to... Oh, it's entirely randomized. Oh my god, dude! Every time, every combo is random. Dude! Yeah. That is... Mm. You have to listen. That sounds like you got a uh, the chaos combo. Uh, hey, I'm I am nothing if not a chaotic person. Yep. Interesting. Okay, I am, I'm learning things. But wait, then that I assume that also takes me in the same direction I was in before, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So right now for this vignette, yeah, there's only three ways to go, and this will take you to the flying way that you you just went to. Okay, just immediately, or am I able to move nope. away from it? Okay. You can move away. So you, you have to hit this type of combo three times. So each combo, you got to hit three, and then it'll take you somewhere. So you're in luck. Every combo. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, no, the, I, the feedback was good. The feedback was good. Okay, all right, I remember this. Okay, this is good. This is, I, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. No, no. 
No! I think that's okay. I. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm flattered. So this one did not take me on the path I wanted to go, but I I have learned that, and that is fine. Now we know. I okay. Um, I think actually I found my first. Uh, and this is I think this is mainly just because, yes, I I very like I I enjoy being able to watch the movements as we go. So that's something that I would personally enjoy. I don't know if everyone is going to necessarily enjoy cycling through the same animation five times, uh, or, like, different... An like, basically, when they an mess up the initial two, wanting to go through the last three or th or two or three before they have to hit again at that point. Like, uh, if there was a yeah. way to not necessarily immediately retry, but, like... So we talked about that, but that's a really good point. So yeah. we'll talk about it. So I we talked about it, uh, and I I was like I talked to Caroline. I was like I can put that in, and then you could just immediately go back once you know you don't want to go that way. But then what that does is it means that you have to pay a little bit less attention because your your memory is fresher. Yeah. And so if you're forced to go on this path that you don't want to go on, both thematically and in terms of your memory, it's a little bit more taxing. So. I like that it's annoying in a way, but then I also, I've thought about that exact thing being like, oh, maybe people should have a button. They could just be like, no, abort mission. Like, yeah. Let's go back. You <laughs> Fish know? and mailed. We'll get him next time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that would be valid feedback. If, if people, if everyone is like, no, nah, once I know I've gone the wrong way, I want to just stop. Uh, that's an easy fix. You're in the past. Anchored there. Marionetted by... Uh, okay, wait, I, I, can't, I can't read that, I'm sorry, oh wait, by something burping and giggling up thoughts to escape your lips. Who wrote this? Intestines. Intestines, Intestines. okay, I can now, okay, that S looked like an O. Um, Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's Carol Ann's writing, so oh, if it's not legible. That's, Carol Ann, that's I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you got chicken scratch. And it's okay because the, the, the theme of it is that, uh, like, there's some text that is um, it's really blurry and you can't read it, even if you try. Nope, that was not the right path. And so this is where you'd want to be like, okay, just stop. I don't want to do this. I suppose. I, I'm like... I... Right, because you can kind of see it both ways. Yeah, where if no. you're forced to go through a path that you didn't want to take, because also sometimes if you go through a path that you didn't want to take, you'll end up with a combo that you didn't want. Yeah. So there's a process of discovery. Sometimes that'd be a good thing. Sometimes it's bad. So if you just allow people to stop, I, I think actually overall it makes the experience a little bit less because then they can brute force it easier. Yeah, I, I agree with that. So um, it might just fundamentally be that like that element of uh, frustration is unavoidable yeah because again like maybe this idea sucks right and that, that's allowed to be the idea but or the, the experience okay so but at least this way i know specifically where this is like um th this one this one doesn't this one it doesn't sting as much as the first time also now because i i i mean one i have an understanding of where it's going where it's leading um, yeah. but two, also, I, I, I am seeing different experiences and yeah. I, I'm getting enjoyment out of seeing where the performance is going, Yeah. but I'm also a sucker for like good dance performances. So that's, that's fine. Um, so where from here, I think right again. Yeah. Yep. And also in a, f in, in a fuller experience, where from here? It's not. I went uh, left, and I should have kept right. Should have gone right. So, in a fuller experience, what I wanted is I wanted things to like come at you out of the darkness and things like that, and have there be a little bit more interaction in those moments. So, but that, right now it's just the dancing. Yeah, that, I mean, and that's actually that sounds amazing. Yeah, no. And like there'd be more dance moves. The combos could be longer. Sometimes you could do different dance moves. So like there's a lot that we could add mm -hmm. if it's worth adding to. Um, now, I'd like to point something out. All of the music I'm hearing is written by you, correct? Yes, yeah. 
Well, and the cool thing is that it's playing itself randomly in these random arrangements based on what you're doing. It's not really, there's a lot going on. It's not apparent to the player, but that doesn't matter. Uh, so it kind of always sounds a little bit beautiful, even if it's just random. Yeah. I smell your thoughts long before they gurgle out of out your throat. Okay. Really nice rain sound effects. Um. Ooh, ooh, oh that frame rate. Ah. Wow. Okay. It's like the walls crashing down. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is a free dance area. Please enjoy a complimentary, beautiful experience. How beautiful this experience is, is up to you. Oh, I didn't see all of that. Oh no, you don't know how to play. Oh yeah, because that's on a timer. It just goes away on its own. I should make that longer. Yeah. Oh, oh, but the movements still function exactly as they were before. So if you didn't have enough time to read how to play, it'll be a little bit tough. Uh, hitting alt and one of the cardinal directions of WSAD will do tumbles. Hitting spacebar will jump. Uh, and then on the exhale, you can move the Whoa. mouse uh, up, down, left, or right. Oh my god. And then she'll god. do a different move. That's... And so with this, I've had competitions with myself to have the most beautiful dances possible. Oh, you moved around too much and you stumbled. <laughs> silly. I hate you. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my sea legs for the first time. Oh, I love I that. You... Am I okay? I actually think you managed to kind of break the controls a little I, bit. I'm sorry. I'm... You, you managed to break my controls. <laughs> I'm sorry. How did you do that? I just... just... <laughs> How did you... Press, press space bar. Press space I can't. Bar quickly. It won't let me. Press alt. <laughs> press alt. I can't. <laughs> How did you do I'm it? I'm sorry! You broke it! No! <laughs> no, it should be so beautiful! And she... Hold, hold to the left. Hold to the left I'm, and press alt. I'm trying. It's not... I can no longer press alt. It's not working. You can't press alt. No. Oh, no. Like, I'm right-clicking. I'm left-clicking. I'm trying. She is just permanently locked. Oh, no. You broke it. You destroyed it. You've ruined the beautiful experience. How did you do that? I have no idea how you did I mean, that's why you test things. Yeah. How did you do that? I was continuously, it was, I was performing, I think I tried to perform a jump and a roll at the same time while moving. You, you QA people, you managed to, yeah, I can see, uh, I got to do better on that. Cause yeah, you got locked in. You can't do anything else anymore. No, I am, I am stuck stumbling and looking so up for the rest of my life. What it is, is she's stuck in the middle of a jump. She can't complete the jump. Uh, this is where her, she'll bend down to give herself, and then she'll, like, launch herself into the air. Yeah, no. I can tell that she's stuck in the middle of a jump. <laughs> oh, no, you ruined everything. <laughs> you ruined this. I'm ruined. My game. I'm humiliated. How does, how does a foul puppet choose its destiny? Um, by s snapping her head so she can't look down, apparently. I, I, I apologize that I have harmed the artistic integrity of this game <laughs> in my gameplay. Yeah, you destroyed it. No, don't look up again. It's a trap. It's a trap. You'll never be able to jump again. Oh, sounds pretty. Who's doing the vocals for this track? That's uh, Caroline. Uh, it's very, it's very pretty. Uh. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm, I'm back. I, I'm somewhere. Uh, hello?
Oh, I remember you. But you're a con you're, you're conducting this. I is she, is she being compelled to move? I I feel like we are we are playing. Oh, whoa, okay. So that's two of three. <laughs> so what I'm going for is I want there to be enough mystery. To be like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, no, why, I... why did that? What's going? Why did their ears so big? What's going on? And so there's a narrative that kind of connects all this stuff and, and makes it all make sense and, and whatever. Uh, but I thought it would be cool to release them all as these little vignettes so I can focus on each one and then still develop the story further. And I don't know. Uh, so yeah, but you did manage to bust the, uh, look, the, the gameplay of that dentist. I gotta write that down before I forget. Um, okay. I'm, what, um, I'm curious, uh, cause I imagine each of these, you know, cause each of these games are each, each vignette as it will be, of course it combines to like a greater narrative. Um, yeah. will you have maybe potentially like uh, maybe some type of snippets or, or, sn or like of information regarding what we've encountered or what they are um, or what it or it's some facet like at, at once we've experienced it like what it could be or what it does mean even if it's just like just in this prototype no okay in this prototype uh, it's gonna be about that level the even in the one more ending actually the one that you have left depending on how you think about it, might give you a little bit more to go on, I'd say. Okay. Um, and then the the other vignettes have a little bit more coherent story rather than what this is. It's kind of just like, I don't know, uh, esoteric story, just like building experience and, and lore, I guess. I don't mean about lore. I see. But yeah, this one is going to be very, very vague. Uh, the final ending that you haven't seen yet is probably the most explicit about what's happening. I will do my best to see if we can get to that one. Uh, you got to get the loons. You got to get the birds now. Uh, Go ahead. That, that is fine. Um, uh, okay. Uh, question, I guess, if, as far as, like, this character that we've been spending time with. Uh, can you give yes. us, is, are, are you able to provide some information on, like, uh, like who who they are? Like, obviously, we don't have a name in the, in, in the game itself, so... Yeah, I don't. There's not tons to say. Okay. I think in terms of like the the player experience, at this stage, I think you should know nothing, yeah. and then that would be described very slowly about who these characters are and what are they experiencing and why and what do they do about it. So at this stage, it's just this is a person and this is what they're going through. Oh, uh, okay. And that that's that's about all that this exact vignette can provide. Um, one final question before I move on to see if I can get this final one. Um, because as you're going to be you're going to be uh, putting out like as like as you finish each uh, each respective vignette, um, you're you have them segmented. Will there be a point in time where you combine all of them into a single like release? That's the idea, and okay. it just depends on exactly which pieces make it into the release, and if that's a good thing to do at all. Because right, like maybe it's biting off more than I can chew, so maybe I should segment. Uh, like the next one that I'm making is going to feel like it could potentially be a whole piece in and of itself. Yeah, uh, it'll be about a. I think right now it's about an hour, hour and a half long game, uh, just in and of itself, and and that'll be the whole vignette. Uh, most of the work is done because that's the way that I, I basically built all seven vignettes before I released even this one. So, um, yeah, the, the idea would be to put them into one coherent experience. But I'm also preparing myself to be like, well, maybe what it is is that they're fractured exactly like this and only some of them have a full release. Um, and it just really depends on if people like what I'm making. Like, really, it, it, if, if enough people like it, then we can focus on that. Uh, and if 
You know what I mean? And if yeah. people vibe with something else, then it can kind of pivot and adapt and, and we can we can go that direction. Yeah. So regardless, all the vignettes will be released, but how polished they are and how, how big they are just really depends on, on if people want to see more. Um, and so I'll be putting this one up on itch and stuff like that. Even just this exact prototype okay. uh, with the bug fixes that we've kind of discovered together, you know? And, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I'm, I'm reading. But, all... but oh. then the thing is, is like, it's actually worked fairly well. You haven't had any crashes, nothing else. You just had that one dancing issue is the main one. Uh, yeah, the the only application that it has crashed was something that wasn't in, yeah. so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, fine. Um, I'm just reading also the the comments in Twitch chat because uh, they see. Yeah, I can't see that one. Yeah, so. uh, Hikaru says I'm liking the visual cues that come from the spotlight. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that one Nintendo nerd says it's not chicken scratch. It's much worse. Cursive. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. Ugh, cursive. Um, though Hikaru says it is beautiful handwriting, Ben fits the art style for sure. Uh, subtitles yeah. could be a potential setting. Uh, I get not running to ruin the challenge and style of the game. Um, uh, and then of course everybody's uh, also laughing at all, all, all of me breaking. Oh, you y'all clipped it. Thank you very much. I'll send that to Lucas later. Uh, <laughs> I do love uh, destroyed my beautiful gameplay. The most beautiful part, and you ruined it. That's that is that is often how I do things, unfortunately. All right. I mean, really, that's the QA in you because you pressed two buttons at once that I never did. So. Okay, we're going for the loons this time, guys. That's not the loons. I'm just going to mute my mic for two seconds. I'll be right back. All good. Nope. That does not take me where I want to go. That, in fact, takes me nowhere. And it, because everything... Because everything is random, I have to... Okay. I can still hear them. This one is still the piano. Now it's not, which means I've I I I have then gone us t taken us on the path of zip the path of yet again. The fact that it's randomized every time that that's that's wacky to me, because then it yeah it it does genuinely genuinely mean that no two playthroughs are going to be the same. But it also means that you could be performing similar actions down similar paths. And it could just be taking you somewhere else entirely for a different game. Okay. And the piano again. Now I've lost it. It just wanted me to keep going left, as far as I could tell. Uh, I, mm, um, 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 that's not how body parts work. Lucas, I found another one for you. Tweet, tweet, motherfucker. Now there's silence, okay. Wait, so going left all the way wasn't the actual correct thing to do? I suppose not. So is it left, right, left, left? Yeah. Left, right, left. Left, left, right, left, left. Okay, there you go. We got the loons. I did it! I did a cool thing. Everyone is lost to me now. The woods are full. Oh, or is that the woods, woods are evil? I, I assume it's the woods are full. That's what it kind of looks like. 
Back to the piano. Not the direction I wanted to go, but it's the direction we're gonna start in, I guess. All right, cool. We have gone the wrong way. All right, I'm back. What did I miss? You got you got a loon. Uh, I did. I got a single loon. Uh, and also, I apparently uh, uh, broke the dancer again. Um, what? what happened? Uh, can somebody clip what happened? I'll send it to Lucas later, please. Oh, no. All right, it's fine. Again! I... Uh I think I go right. Yeah, there we go. Right? No, no. Done goofed. Done goofed again. Oh no. Oh, the red's not good. Oh no, everything's terrible. I actually, I really want to see how our movements go, but that's when the then the camera gets out of control. Well, and part of that is because um. So when I get the mocap data, I, I have to animate over top of it and clean it up. Yeah. Uh, and some of that movement is just impossible to clean properly and have it look good, especially without time and money and just stuff that I don't have to spend that much time on it. Yeah. Uh, and so sometimes the camera is shaking because the mocap just was sinking through the floor and looking like trash. That's what it was. <laughs> but I can probably ease off the shake because I don't think people will care as much as I do. No. Right? It still looks good. It's just that, you know, it's a little bit... That's good. Oh, and Carol Ann did all of the mocap for this. I, y'all are just incredibly talented people. It, like, it, well, but then I can I can I can mess with it afterwards. You know what I mean? And like yeah. animate it and change it. Uh, but it was so much fun. Okay, I at least made it. Got pretty on close. Three. Okay, so I have to go left again. Okay, so it's right, left, left, left. <laughs> Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. This time I think I actually got it because I, I... Yeah. There we go. I got it. Nice. Nice. Uh, I can hear their voices calling out. Uh, yeah, this one is uh, rightfully more spooky. I can still hear the loon, but I think this was more of the piano then? No, nope, no, nope, lost it. It was probably left, left, right. Yeah, that's okay. You, you take a nap there for a minute. G give yourself some time. All right, let's go. Up we go. Oh, no, the camera didn't like me getting up. I'm sorry. Again! <laughs> Crack the whip again! What if I go right this time? Yeah, that's the direction. Because I can hear the loon briefly. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Very shaky, very shaky. Do I keep going left or do I go right? Moment of truth! Oh, thank God! Now is it left or right? Let's try right. <laughs> yes! Yes! Nailed it. Okay. Like, it feels good to get the inputs right. So, I think that That's gameplay good. loop is, is good. They want me to find them. I... Can I... So this path has... I really like some of the cinematic, but I really don't like some of the cinematic. You'll see in a little bit. Oh wow! That peak on your head, on your, on one's headphones, are a little. Okay. We turn around, and I assume we're now. I'm sorry, what, what, what is this? <laughs> uh, um... Wait, are, okay, so you're holding these now. What, why, why? What, what, what is happening? What 
am I supposed to be? Oh! I... I recognize this character model. Okay. So they're... Some type of, like, textures? It's very interesting. I, that's unsettling, but, like, I get it. Just watching her look. Oh! So normally there'd be gameplay in between, like... Yeah. That cutscene in here, but in this, I, I just I had to cut out the gameplay. It was just too much to do all at once. I was like, oh. I want to see if people care about this in general. Uh, and so this would be the end of the sequence here. Okay, so you, uh, at this point, because it's in pre-alpha, you don't have the... Uh, there's no yeah, gameplay there, yet. Okay. There'd be the, the gameplay where you're walking around with those uh, dousing rods, is what they are. And then this area is obviously not designed. There's no ground. <laughs> it's very rough. Oh, don't take me! I'm not ready! Ah! <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that was mildly terrifying. So that's the spooky direction. And then this should bring you back to the beginning. Wow. So that's all there is to see in the in this prototype. I Wow. Uh, just like I I'm that was a lot to unpack in less than like that was like less than like an hour of gameplay yeah I, and i mean i think if you're if you know what you're doing you can play it in 30 minutes but i don't think that's i think anybody else because like i had to, i had to kind of tell you what to do so yeah. i think yeah i don't know it's tough to say so let's talk about it um you can mute the the gameplay or something like that or the the sound yeah so let's let's chit chat let's fireside let's just you know um Overall, what do you think? I I think that I I think that when the gameplay loop is keeping you on like when you know you are on a path to lead to uh, to understand more of where it's going that yeah. it's that that intro like cuz it, it's it's the introductory sequence that's taking you on whatever path you choose. I I that shit sounds amazing to me yeah. i again i know this is a prototype build so like as you're developing and adding more into each of the respective areas as they go in it'll become more fleshed out so yeah. like seeing right now it right now for me uh it doesn't feel as fulfilled because i've only seen part of the full picture so it's yeah. like but like what i've played makes me want to play more uh, cool. and like, I, I want to, I, 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 un, I can see ways that, y that you could make UI changes to make it more accessible for players who are maybe not, uh, not as willing to go the extra mile with, um, with the, with, with the genuine gameplay experience, I suppose. Like, yeah. Uh, so what could I do? Cause like, I think that's the main thing. I don't want to cut you off, but like, I, I think that's the main thing that, uh, that this demo misses is that yeah. it's like, you have to be really, you have to really want to figure out how to play. And I don't think it quite gets people there unless I'm here to tell you what to do. Um, I, I actually have, um, what if, what if there was a scenario 
Uh, I guess you can't actually do that way because you have three different paths and you'd only be able to technically have one or the other. And the fact that it's randomized every time also makes things very interesting because even if you take the same path twice, it may not put send you sound down the same direction based on the audio well, cues. Yeah. It's so each playthrough, uh, they're set. So like every time you're clicking through, they're set in stone. But okay. then every time you, you go back to the title screen, it'll be a random set. Yeah, look at her. She's standing up right there. Yeah, that, I saw that, that too. That, that shouldn't happen. I don't know why that happens. I mean, uh, that one's been persistent. I, you know, I, it actually kind of makes it just like a little more creepy. So I don't know yeah, if I hate that weird. actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, like, I don't know. It's, it's, I, I also feel like, it, especially with games like this that have like that creepiness factor to it, that yeah. like sometimes like you're, you're going to find bugs that like people might actually get a kick out of or enjoy for the sake of like game i've actually so i've noticed that i've fixed a couple things that shouldn't have happened but yeah. i was like i didn't mind that it was happening uh like if you go to the beach dancing area with the water and then you go to the flying area uh the breathing there's there's elements of the beach that persist and i, I didn't fix it because i was like it's kind of it's weird and creepy but i like it so there are some weird things that can happen depending on how you play the game um, uh, but like I said, I, I think like right now, I don't know, I might just add a different write up yeah. to when, to like the download page for the game. Do you think that would be enough if I just put a blurb about more about what it's doing and how to play, uh, would yeah. that do the trick? I, I think that, I think that, I think that would be fine. Uh, I mean, treat it as if you were treating, uh, if you had to write an instruction manual for it, I guess, which I know most games, there's a lot of games out there that don't give information on what they do anymore. No, uh, it, and it, do you think, so you don't think it would rob, and people in the chat can answer as well, uh, you don't think it robs the player of the experience of figuring it out themselves if I'm like, oh, it's like attention training and you have to follow a specific sound that you want to follow, uh, and that's choosing the path that you want to go down. If I'm just that blunt about it? Yeah, I, hmm. I, I think I think that's okay because yeah. it, it's not it's not keeping people from like going on a path. It, it, it lets them know that there that there that there that there are that there are paths to follow. I think uh, yeah. It, it's it's like because but again, I also can totally understand the idea of like you don't want people you want people to feel it out and go through, but then um, they need to have enough to go on. Yeah, they right? need to, like they, they need to have a, like an actual. A, a, an actually a direction that they can follow because yeah because otherwise i saw one person uh on the discord they they sent me their gameplay footage and they were trying to move away from the gunshots and explosions so yeah. every time they they because the the all the sounds they can appear randomly around you in space so that you have a bit of a 3d sound like it can be to the left to the right and stuff like that and so if there was an explosion to the left they would move their character they would click to the right yeah and i was like that makes perfect sense that is a completely valid way of someone uh, interpreting what the game is showing them. It's just that's not the way that the game will work with. And so I have to figure out, I, I need to give people enough to go on so that they know what the game is doing and how to interact with it, but I don't want to spoil it. So I think just giving more information, because you were still, even even when I told you what, what it was doing, you were still having fun watching it and watching the movements and stuff like that, right? Yeah, no, I, I, I personally like enjoyed that part of the experience. But I also know that how my experience is can vary from like another player who yeah, yeah. doesn't even, uh, or, or like who, who who's somebody who's who's not as familiar with games like of this type of gameplay style. Uh, so they might become more frustrated with it. Uh, yeah. I actually there is a, uh, a a mention in Twitch chat where Sethy Cake says I actually think you should not put the or I don't think you should put that on the page um okay. i think i think maybe and i i i kind of see that because it also kind of takes away the mystery of like um of where it goes storm wolf says th thank you john by the way i think just saying that you should find your path in the game should would be sufficient but then again i know y'all because y'all are the kind of players that would like that that would like keep going until you figured it out uh, some people won't just kind of brute force their way through it. Some people may try it once and then be like, I, I don't yeah. get it. And then they turn it off. But and, then, I, and I think it's, it's valid. Like, it, like I said, you have to leave room. Some people aren't going to like this yeah. and that is as valid as some people loving it. Yeah. And, and so I, I, 
I know that that old adage, if you make, um, if you try to make something that everyone likes, then no one's going to like it. I yeah. think I better said. But like, so it's okay. This is not going to be for everyone. Uh, but for the people that could enjoy it, is it even remotely like accessible? You know, and I, I think um, I've tr- I've like I've like dabbled. I can't see the chat on Twitch for some reason. I've been trying, but it's not. Uh, well, I'm I'm still reading things as it goes. Uh, Sethi says I think an anti frustration mechanic would make more sense to give everyone a lead from the get go. So I think we're it would kind of like what we were talking about before, where it's like if we know we we've, we've we've gone into an input that is giving us no. Like the first, yeah, input, not... if the first input gives you nothing and you know that it's given you nothing, yeah. giving you the yeah. ability to step back is, yeah. is kind of like that. I, that I get. Um, yeah. So. And like I said, that's a tricky one because I think if you, if you put that in, yeah, that is a tricky one. I would have to really sit down and debate that, uh, that cause I can easily put that in. That's, that's uh, not a hard thing to do. And yeah. I, I basically already have it. It's just that if you put it in, it really changes the experience. And so I'd have to, you know, I'd have to test it. I'd have to give it to people and see how they interact with it. So, you know, I'm going to write it down because it, that's not a hard thing for me to do. That I, would take like two minutes. I think, um, I think one way of having it so that way it is like a fade out and maybe she walks away from the stage and then comes back starting her breath and then like immediately going into it. Yeah, because like, then there's still enough time yeah. that it's like, okay, you have to put some effort into remembering the sequence that you're going for. And yeah, she's standing up again. Yeah, Ro- Ro- oh, there it goes. Ronan um, Runner also says uh, kind of a similar thing. Maybe a literal step back to trace backwards through the path that you've made. Uh, Stormwolf says that sounds like an interesting idea. Y'all, 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 are, y'all are giving some solid feedback here, guys. If it, if it just plays in reverse, that yeah. would be really cool, right? <laughs> if you just take the exact move and then play in reverse. <laughs> like the Prince of Persia rewind feature. <laughs> Basically, yeah. right? um that 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 could be interesting i i yeah no um i i think it's something worth exploring for sure and again like how this project goes is ultimately it's it's up to it's up to what you want to do with it but like um, well it is but but it's also a conversation with the people that want to play it yeah right and and because what i'm interested in is is opening up that conversation and and taking that feedback like i just i just like making stuff and if people like playing it they like how it looks you know, like I mentioned before, the that the the confluence or whatever, the Venn diagram between like what I can make, what I'm like actually capable of making. Yeah. Uh what other people want to play and then what I want to make. Mm. Cuz sometimes there's I I can make plenty of other things. It's just that maybe it doesn't actually interest me that much to do it. Mm. And so that's okay, but also I want to make stuff that people want to make. So how do we figure out like the center of those three things? What I can do, what I want to do, and uh, what other people care about, right? Uh, okay. And that's uh, tricky. Uh, Stormwolf also says if you were to do like a rewind and also have the music happen rewind at the right time as well that would be creepy AF and that seems to be getting some thumbs up as well it uh, would be cool Reck- and that's for sure doable yeah Rec Maiden says oh yeah take a step back and the music rewinds a bit that, that'd be super mm-hmm. neat and uh, I think I think the biggest challenge is making sure that people are interested enough in what they're exploring yeah and they're rewarded enough to keep going. And I think most of that is that initial write-up, which I think I just have to run by people and be like, does this explain? Because now now I can talk to you and be like, okay, you've done it. You know what this is doing. Yeah. So if I send you a write-up and I'm like, does this ad- accurately explain it without saying too much? Uh, and that's the place that I want to get to with the testers to be like, I really don't know how to explain this. Right? How do you explain what it's trying to do without being like, okay, well, what it is is there's a mathematical thing called a binary tree, and that is entirely <laughs> what this is. It's literally a binary tree of uh, a sequence of numbers, which, by the way, uh, you're going to forget by the time this becomes relevant. But that sequence of numbers that you're dancing, um, it's literally like, uh, if you look at the math of it, it's like, you know, 0, 2, 15, 30, like it goes on like that. That's going to be the sequence of passwords for the player later on in the game. Uh, and so the binary sequence that you're selecting through your dance by choosing different things, that's relevant later on like, anyway, wow, computer terminals and things like that. So the puzzle gets really, really deep and dense, but it's really hard to describe to people like, okay, don't worry about how complex it is. Uh, you should want to experience the mystery. That's the, that's the important part is that you're, you think it's like, oh, this is fun and cool. And like, I actually want to try and figure out what's going on. Right. 
So how do I write that up and uh, and guide people through that experience? And so if, I, I wish I still can't see the chat on Twitch. What am I doing? Why am I so techno? What what? I program video game and I don't know how to see the chat on Twitch. I, I've got the Twitch page open, but I can't see the chat. Um. So it's super weird. Uh, I I've, I've got I've got I got a few more ones coming through oh. uh, as well. Uh, numbers scare me. Yeah, that's understandable. Fair. Fair um, poor Lucas. He can make a game, but he can't open a chat box. Um, no, literally, that's exactly what's happening. I can't open the chat box. Where is it? Uh, that, it, it, it this happened earlier on Discord too when I was trying to get him into this chat that we're in right now. Yeah, uh, what, what's wrong with me? I'm old. <laughs> Uh, Sethy Cakes says, personally, from a player standpoint, um, cur I currently don't find this game interesting so far because I haven't been able to hook onto any sort of coherent story. Nothing seems to connect. That's fair. Maybe this will change later on, but what comes next doesn't connect to what comes before. And because of that, I don't feel like I have much purpose or drive. Um, I think that's fair. That's true. Um, so yeah, the... Oh. So what I what I started off initially is I had a, had a different bit that I... Uh, proceeds into this mm. and i think when you when you have the bit that happens before this uh that bit that happens before this has most of the narrative ah. about what is going on and so it it's sort of you get a bit of mystery when you're releasing these these disconnected vignettes but you do it's like you have to have people have to want to pay attention and keep on coming back to be like, oh, like there's more. And I can say like, oh, this answers the questions that I have, right? Y you have to do a good enough job like hooking them so that they want to stick around for that kind of payoff. There is, the reason I didn't focus on that one. So this one is, um, oh man, I wish I could send you, I could send you clips. Uh, this other one takes place at this this strip mall that these two characters, because right now you only see the one character, the the bald uh, woman here um, and there's another character there's a male character and uh, they they do some things at uh, you know what can I send you a video and you can play it for people watching I absolutely I can once you send okay, it okay okay I'll send if, you a link yeah if you send it to me is it like a YouTube link or yeah 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 just a YouTube link okay uh, so I just gotta find the right link I mean if you have the actual video file I can literally just probably showcase the media source directly onto OBS and it would actually probably look would it be a lot better? better. Yeah, it'd look a lot better. Hey, me All right, guys, y'all are getting some exclusive video content. Let's go. Uh, I just have to think with my brain. So this is, <laughs> I think this this one. It's an MP4. It's only forty. Oh, it's forty two megs though. I, How do I, I, I don't have... As long as it's less than a hundred megabytes, it'll download through uh, Discord. Really? Yes. Yeah. I don't have Nitro or, or anything. No, it's fine. You should be fine. Like it, it, it it'll say if it's over a hundred megs, it'll say your file is too powerful. But if it's under a hundred, you're you're good. So okay, let me check. Oh, now now you're gonna see what a dummy I. How do I go to a chat where I can see? Just I, can I, I guess just you. DM it to me. Why am I so dumb? <laughs> I mean, this is ridiculous. Okay, here now I'm gonna click this. I think this is the video falling car strip mall. So. Your files are too powerful. The max file size is 25 megabytes. Oh, God. It's okay. Well, 25. I, I never had that issue because I have Nitro, so. I know. Okay, here. I'll, I'll just send you the YouTube link. All right. Uh, okay. Where is it? Shoop. That's fine. So some people may have seen part of this clip before. Uh, here's, I've just sent, uh, sent it in our DM chat. I have uh, it here. Some people may have seen part of this clip before. Uh, the, the beginning part. Uh, but it's the end part that I'll, it'll be a launching point to talk about what um, the story is. I'm going to do a cool thing, and I'm going to okay. rip the video off of YouTube and then make it so I have it as a video source. Fair. That works. Uh, yeah, so the, the who who was it that gave the comment about the disconnected story, and, and it's hard to be interested in it because of that? I just don't know their, their that, name. That would be Sethy Cakes. Sethy Cakes or Sethy Cakes? S-E-T-H-Y, Sethy Cakes, yes. Sethy Cakes. I wish I could see chat. I wish I could figure that out. Why am I so dumb? Um, uh, it's super valid. Uh, and that's the exact kind of feedback that I want because, um, yeah, how do I present something? Like, I, I can add in, uh, like, at the end of, say, a path that you go down in this, it could play a little video that shows you more of what's going on. Um, but then how explicit do I make that video? Like, is it a teaser? Cause I have a teaser that I've been, that I edited, 
um, that I can send Sean as well, which maybe, maybe I will. Uh, um, I, is it a teaser? Like, what should I use? Uh, just whatever. I think whatever works, whatever works best for you. Um, I am, I, I'm putting you in this, but uh, for everybody who's curious, for those who are on the Control Alt Crit Discord, there is now a thread for Lamp Black, specifically the Two Dream of Dancing vignette. Uh, if you guys would like to provide any feedback that you'd like to give Lucas that may not necessarily get covered on tonight's stream, please do so. If you guys get the opportunity to play the game when it pops up on HIO, or if you guys are in the Lamp Black Discord, uh, that is something yeah, that you could do. Fire me your thoughts. And then don't um what I'm really cognizant of is I don't want people to be worried about hurting my feelings. I've yeah. I've my entire life I've made creative stuff, like even just being a voice actor. Uh, and you learn that you learn the most when you take people's actual real criticism, you know, and, and when they feel free to be like, no, that didn't work. It's like, OK, then how can I do better? Uh, and I've been really aware that on on my discord, I don't want people to feel like, well, I can't say anything that he wouldn't like because, you know, then he won't like me. It's like, no, take the gloves off, you know, slap me around a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> gotcha. No, uh, I I I'm. As far as the gameplay is concerned, um, like the stuff that the stuff that I've broken, like that that's that's that, that's input issues, and input issues can like that that stuff could be fixed. But as far as like the yeah, core gameplay, the for, the core gameplay loop, I, I I do think there's a lot that needs to kind of be kind of kind of like honed in to ensure that at least somebody who has a has a passing interest in it is able to keep that interest without getting discouraged. Um, I mean. There's a there's a right amount of like get, getting frustrated enough that you want to continue because you screwed up, and like and getting bored, getting bored from it. Yeah, like, yeah. So do you think if I so if I have the rewind mechanic, so we go full Prince of Persia? Because I actually I thought about that before. I almost put that in, and now that might have been the right instinct. Um, because that would also look really cool, and, yeah. and then you could also do that at any point, just to be like, what does it look like in reverse? And then at some point, I could be like, if you reverse this move, then a monster eats you from the darkness, which I've thought about. I want to. I, I was gonna have the these arms reach in from the darkness, but yeah. I, I just didn't put that into this clip. Anyway, I uh, I have the first video actually playable, which was the first trailer that you sent me. I'm playing it right now on stream. Okay. You guys should have the audio as well, so I'll try to shut up. it when you're flying through the sky and your car breaks like that <laughs> i'll also go ahead and play the to dream of dancing teaser as well so we've got it
game gets gradually more creepy the more I look at it. <laughs> Is it all done? I can't. Yeah, no, it's it's all finished. Okay, okay. I, I'm sorry. I, I went ahead and played so, both. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what you'll notice, so at the end of the falling car one, uh, there's that moment like wake up, and then they're uh, dragging a body, and he's like, "What are you doing?" And you know, there's a body on the floor. Uh, and then in a couple clips in that teaser, so most of the stuff in that teaser that you showed at the end there is in To Dream of Dancing proper. Yeah. But there are clips from there that we didn't see, and we we played everything. So those clips are the one she's standing again in the thing. Anyway, um, <laughs> the the clips in there are from mostly from the preceding bit that precipitates coming into this part. And uh, without saying too much, um, they. There's a there there, you've seen it in the the falling car bit. They're dragging a body of something that is distinctly not human, and the question that the player is given is like, did they kill it? Did they find it? What happened? Is a lot of the the question at that point. Um, and then in the teaser, if you're watching, uh, there's a moment where there's something kind of comes through and and gets them, uh, and it all blasts through really fast because it's a, it's a teaser. It's like a 50, 49 second teaser or whatever like that. Um, but as, as much as I can, I should say right now is that they, they're dabbling with something that maybe they shouldn't dabble with. Um, and I think it's either like an alien or a spiritual creature of some sort. Mm. Uh, they've either killed it or they found it. And that's the, an open question. Um, especially at that stage in the story. Uh, and they kind of go through, I don't know what to call it. There's a word that's eluding me. It's not a, some kind of ritual, I guess. Uh, and there's a bit in the trailer where you can see him wearing a blue, this blue skin on his head. Uh, and that would be them wearing the skin of this being that they have. Uh, and then stuff starts to go wrong. And uh, another being kind of climbs out through the wall. And another being kind of climbs down through the ceiling. Um, and I can show you those cinematics as well at some point. Some yeah. one of them's not really done. Uh, but, like, the building they're in kind of explodes. And then there's these, like, what are they? Are they aliens? Are they spiritual beings? Like, these things kind of, like, coming through and then taking over their minds. And so that's where it's going. And I, I'm sitting here being like, well, I can actually just tell people. It doesn't matter. I can tell you the, what it what it is. I don't yeah. have to hold everything back. Um, that's how it starts. And that is the scene that comes before this. So this one... The dream to dream of dancing. This one you go through, and uh, you the most pertinent things you'll either end up flying around, and that just goes to a different place entirely. So that one's just flying, mm. um, or you go to the beach, which links you back, and then you're kind of being conducted by this large alien creature thing. Uh, or what's the other one again? Oh, the other one is uh, you go into the forest and you are uh, effectively searching for certain people. Gotcha. Uh, and then you kind of get abducted back. So it's using a lot of the imagery of abduction. And uh, that's sort of the question is like, what exactly is it? What are they playing with? Because it doesn't fit neatly into alien uh, form, uh, but maybe it does. And what exactly are aliens? So <laughs> that's a lot of what it, it starts out as. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's, that's actually enough. Like that's spoiler free enough. That doesn't tell you exactly what's going on. It just tells you at this point, if you were to play to dream of dancing in linear sequence, uh, that would be some things that you would have seen before entering into this sequence. Okay. And I think that would provide a lot more context for players coming into it. Um, yeah. At, at least it would, it, it would definitely probably get the, get the blood pumping to like keep going and see where things go from there. Um, yeah. So over time, there will be m more, uh, you know, like over time, there'll be more, st more pieces of the puzzle. And, and so uh, as it becomes more interesting and maybe better to interact with, I think, That'll, I don't know. That might take care of itself once I have more out. Um, how can the people who are interested in uh, to dream of dancing or the Lamp Black project in general, uh, like get in touch with you, support you? Obviously, we posted your Discord. Is there anything else you want us to also kind of spread the word or let folks know about that could? Uh, what? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, you can just come to the Discord and ask for the testers role, and then everything that I make, you'll get a link to the build. Uh, and what I'm, what my plan is, is everything that I make, if someone's on the Discord, they'll just always get it for free, even if at some point, like this next one, my hope is that it's worthy of being something that I could charge for, but
but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to at this stage. I think I'll still be like, nah, no one knows who I am or what I'm doing in this regard. Uh, but the point is, is that if people are on the Discord, they're just always going to get it if they want yeah. it. Uh, because to me, that's more important to me is that I have people who are like genuinely interested in this. So it's, it's a good topic. It's like if you're genuinely interested in a game like this, and I know that you don't have tons to go off of, but if you're genuinely interested in it, then I would really love to have you on the Discord channel uh, so I can give you free games to play uh, <laughs> and you can just tell me if it sucks or not. You know, that's that's probably the best way. <laughs> yeah, I'm for it. And as well, uh, again, well, we've got a thread now also on our Discord as well. Uh, that works so, too. So if, 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 if you want to... Uh, to uh, drag uh, Lucas from out of the depths of his hermitude and actually have him respond on our server for once, that would well, be cool. <laughs> but now it's kind of like, because you can see how much work. Like, I've just shown you, this is about a 30-minute to an hour-long slice of gameplay, but then I can show you these other cinematics with all this stuff. It's like, I, God, yeah. I have like a seven-hour-long game basically done, but it's just not polished up to like, it's not ready. You know what I mean? It's yeah. still got to cook for a little bit. So I've just been losing my mind working in my little like silent dark room, right? And so yeah. I can't I'm excited to like come out for air and be like, hello, people, again. <laughs> Not only just working only. <laughs> um, so yeah, I and this is a great break because I, I finished this and so I'm gonna be more, especially for like the next week or so, uh, I'll just be kind of like mopping this one up and finishing it off and, and putting up on itch and stuff like that. And then after that, the next game, the next vignette is basically done. And so I look forward to being more, I don't know, conversant, do, <laughs> just existing, right? Do That'd we have nice. a build or do we have a, sorry, do we have a name for the next vignette as well? Oh, that is a good question. So right now the working title, it's just called The End. Oh. Uh, but I think I might change the, the, the name of it to Sexy Space Cows. I'm not, I'm kidding. I'm serious. <laughs> I, and so it will be apparent, and that'll be, you know what? You guys can help me name it, because uh, it's between those two. It's either The End or Sexy Space Cows, I, and there's no in-between. I think uh, I'll, 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 get a, I'll get a chat vote on, our, uh, on that thread and see what, they, uh, see what they say for that one. But I, I, I have a feeling it should be Sexy Space Cows. Uh, Lu, uh, let's see. Sethi says The End. Uh, uh, Luparneo says Sexy Space Cows. Rekka Maiden says The End. William Darby says The End. The End is apparently getting high votes here. Right. I, so, the end, and like, I feel like Rekka might know what The End is. Yeah. Uh, because if you've been around on our YouTube channel enough, you've probably seen like the very first animatics of it, like, eight years ago now or five years ago or something like that a good chunk uh, of them i noticed you put a lot of videos unlisted not too long ago so i did yeah i'm starting to kind of hold everything back yeah uh because now because now the end um if you think about it, it's the same two characters well are they or who knows and anyway Ooh. they're in outer space and it's more of just like it's just a simple love story uh between two astronauts in out space uh, in outer space um and it looks pretty cool i sent you the link you can show people. It's like a five-second link of the spaceships flying around, but like I really like it. Uh, um, did you send me the link? I... I sent it to you in our in, oh, our, test, in our DMs. Test flight. I missed it. As, yeah, 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 yeah. And so it's literally just five seconds of of the ships flying around, but uh, it's basically just a side scroller. So this this piece is just a side scroller love story, and you you fly around outer space, um, solving puzzles as you both travel towards effectively a, a giant black hole. And uh, then you you meet at the black hole, and you know you're together, and that's that's that story, and that's not really spoiling anything by saying that. No, um, um, I think I, it's, it, I, I still like sexy space cows though. Sexy space cows, and it's, it comes from a there's a line in the there's a line in the in the thing where they're I forget what they say they talk about like sexy space cows moo anyway. Uh, there's a whole line about that. I was going to say, is the fact that it's a side-scroller kind of like a nod to the fact that the original Lamp Black uh, game that you had originally worked on was a side-scroller? A little bit of both. It's a little bit, um, it's it's a nod to that the original, the end, because of it, the animatic, it was just very 2D. And yeah. I was like, uh, and it's also a nod to, I wanted to have something that I could accomplish relatively quickly. Um, I could do the game full 3D, but then that would demand a lot more environmental work. And at this stage, I just feel like it's more important that I, I put stuff out there that people can get familiar with 
and kind of see like how I tell stories and what stories do I tell and what does it look like and how does it feel and is it fun and do I like it? <laughs> so it, it's also a big part of that. I just want to have something I can put out within the next like two or three months uh, that looks cool because I think one of the strengths of To Dream of Dancing is the cinematics and the music. Uh, and that's a focus in the end as well. There's like in like an hour and a half game, there's like 20 minutes of cinematic. Um, and so what was I saying? So yeah, and, and then also the original, it started off for sure just as um, it was always going to be a... Uh, I just got your your thing to see the chat. There it is. Now I have the chat. Yeah, uh, thanks to Sethi who just sent that to me saying this would help you, Thank you. access chat. Yeah, so. now I can actually reach that. Um, yeah, it, the original was going to be a side scroller, and I did a bunch. I have a man. I could go back and I could show you the earliest iterations of side scroller footage. Um, <laughs> I think I actually still have some of that footage because I have some. Yes, of it? I used. I, I may have. I may have it on my drive, uh, which would Let take me, me like a, a million years to go through. But like, I, I remember yeah. some of it because I was following your project back before you and I even started like talking to each other. Technically, um, so you, not you've seen it all. Like. Mm -hmm. No, because, um, and that was because I was working up the courage to actually reach it back out to you after I had touched base back in, like, 2014. So, like, I'm like, okay, I'll check and see how things going. Oh, this side-scroller looks really cool. And the artwork, because I remember a lot of the artwork, it was, it had a lot of the stuff that you were working on back then in it, too. So, like. Yeah, so, and so all of this is still kind of part of it, just in yeah. different ways. And I can actually, I can send you the actual files. Here, this is ridiculous. This is like an old, old devlog when I first started making something. Oh my god! Oh, that's very loud. Ow, my ears. <laughs> yeah, careful for the careful for the volume. Rip headphone users. Uh, okay, well, the the first one that's coming in is the spaceship one. I'm 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 good to show that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. show the spaceship one. Cool. And then the second one is the the original like the the original version of what the Lamplack project looked like. Um, and man, it's game development is wacky. Uh, let me go ahead and reduce this image so people can actually see it. Oh wow, there's a little guy in there. Zooming left and right. Are you watching the, uh... Yeah, watching I, the I, I'm spaceships. showing the, the spaceships, yeah. It's got like little oars on it. That's. that's yeah, I love those little spaceships. I just love them. Oh, did you come up with the design on those? Yeah, those are my designs. Yeah, in 2D and in, then I made them in 3D and they just fly around. It's super fun. Uh, oh, wait, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta reduce the volume for, for this next one. I'm, I'm saving your lives, I swear. Oh, God. Oh, and the little costume! Yeah. Honestly, like, and I, I know this this version is probably long since gone, but I... I was so, like, enamored with the original design of that that I always wanted I to see where it went after that. So I'm gonna circle back to it. I have all the files. I had right? Like, I, uh... I'm gonna circle back to it in a specific way. Yeah. So all of this stuff still exists. I have really good archives of it all, um, and I even have. I I'm, I'm not going to bother showing. It. I have the another game that I made before even this side scroller that you just saw. Yeah. I have another one anyway. But it is it doesn't matter. It's just a bunch of rant. Actually, no. Maybe I will show you. <laughs> it just because this is funny. Like no one, no one, no one has seen this one. Oh. Okay. Um, all right. All right. Oh, whoa. This this is a. Uh, completely different i don't think there's any sound so you don't have to worry about it but this uh, is a completely different side scroller that i made that no one's played just me and caroline i think I, it may be actually one other guy i think maybe mike i it. i would not mind trying it oh god it's pretty the, it's pretty weird the picture is hold on i need to kind of reduce it in what 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 is happening uh very big file size on this video hold on i'm gonna reset, really i'm gonna reset it or just like it, it it's just a really a really large picture so i have to readjust it oh man oh that's 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 not creepy having to run away from the grim reaper yeah oh so that's a whole it's a whole other experience uh and what i love <laughs> is that even in the 
in the in the one that you played before with like the guy with the green suit yeah there was that bit where he was he was on the end spaceship the red space you, you yeah the, that? the one the one that was yeah. in the original the, the one we just yeah. looked at uh, yeah dude. So, you, <laughs> so you can see like like i've been working on it for so long and, and now i was like i just want to start showing people what i've been working on uh and, and it's all coming together so if you kind of combine uh, you've seen like the little spaceships in the green suit guy, and now the spaceships are 3D and they're flying around, and we're gonna do the love story first. And at some point, we'll circle back to these characters wearing those suits. Um, and at some point, you know what? I can just throw the the Grim Reaper following the little thing that that thing. I can just put that up on the Discord any day here because it just it's just been sitting there for years. Um, I mean, it's just it's, like a side-scrolling shooting game. It's good work. I mean, it's fun. I've been enjoying it. I just, uh, at some point, I want people to actually play it and, like, critique it. And anyway. But, yeah, anyway, we'll get there. Uh, up next is the spaceship game. Okay. And I think I think that one will probably be the most accessible. So I want to I wanna wrap up with people's feedback that I'm getting now. I want to wrap up working on uh, To Dream of Dancing for now and then move on to the end uh, or Sexy Space Cast and just see, you know, and just see how people respond to that. And then if people dig it more, we can kind of adapt what we're doing. So what if uh yeah. what if what if you had both titles? Like it was sexy space cows colon the end. The end. Or the end colon sexy space cows. God damn, I could be, could <laughs> it, could be. Work. it could work, yeah. You could do that. I wouldn't <laughs> mind that, you know. The best uh, of both I worlds. see I'm just going back to the, to chat now. I don't know. Yeah, I'm reading what uh, William Darby. So can I say something? The name Darby, because there's a character named Reese Darby, and I forget actually what show Reese Darby is from. Um, but I always read William Darby. <laughs> really, <laughs> I can't. I love it. That actually sounds like a lot of fun in terms of gameplay. It seems strangely romantic playing a game where two lovers are inevitably going to be swallowed by a black hole. Yeah, I feel like that one's going to be really good. Um, Stormwolf says there's a lot of gravitas there. Is that in relation to the, that, the that, spaceships? I yeah, feel like maybe. It, it's it's a pun. He's he's, um, he's he is he is the king oh, of puns. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm I'm getting that. Uh, and then, yeah, and then yeah, no, Rekka for sure saw probably saw the original the ends way back in the day. Um, but yeah, it's it's really cool. I'm really excited. So, if people have feedback that they want it, that they think about to tell me how to, how do I button up? Cause I don't want to spend too much more time working on to dream of dancing. I want to kind of, I want to add a couple elements that make it easier for people to understand what they're doing and how and keep mm -hmm. their interest. And then I want to move on to, to doing the end. So if people have feedback about how, what should I say to prime people to have the right experience? Cause now you've sat here for an hour and a half listening to me be like, this is what I'm trying to do. How do I get there? to actually do it you yeah know? Uh, if people have feedback about that that would be super helpful i'd be really grateful for that yeah and there's more than one place to be able to give it and yeah. like uh if it like if you're giving if, if you're giving like like criticism and you want lucas to be aware of it like i uh, you can send it in in the thread. You can join the lamp, lamp Black Discord. You can send that information. You can even respond with comments not only on this video on YouTube, but also respond to Lucas's other videos on the uh, the Hermit Collective YouTube channel, which I believe still exists. I know your website is going through some adjustments. I think so. Yep the uh, website the website I took down to in preparation for kind of rebranding. So let's talk about it. Yeah. Um. The the rebranding. Uh. I've changed company names because, hmm. uh, like, way back in the day, I the I was Hermit Sherpa was like the alias that I went by online. Yeah. But then over time, I was like, well, it kind of makes me uncomfortable because a Sherpa is like a an ethnic group in Nepal, right? Yeah. And we we tend to think of Sherpas as being a job to take people like you're a Sherpa, um, but that's not what it was. And so you know, and that was like I did that in grade ten, and I was like, you know what? So I shouldn't be Hermit Sherpa because that feels a little bit weird. So how about I'm the Hermit Collective? And I, and I did that for a number of years. And then over time, I was like, I, I actually really want to be able to get anonymous feedback mm. because I think when people know me as zero, uh, it's, it's, I, I feel, I don't know how to say it. It feels like they don't want to let me down by being mean is one thing, right? <laughs> like they don't want to, they don't want to say something to me where they're like, your game sucks. Like they're, and now I feel like I'm kind of piercing that. It's like, you can tell me if it sucks. Yeah. Um, but it also changes 
I, I want to have people that have no clue. Because, like, if you think about it, I have this kind of unearned group of people that are being really gracious with their time and looking at these things that I've made. Um, but the game itself has to be able to stand on its own two feet, right? Yeah. It has to be good objectively, not just good for people that, like, are being really kind to me. And so, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And so I'm trying to create like a really anonymous profile with a different company name to show it to people that have no reason to be kind whatsoever. Uh, and so I've, I've also been kind of building that in tandem. And I think I'll link the two profiles at some point, but I want to I wanna give there to be opportunity for people that have no clue and have no reason, just complete strangers. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say? Like just complete, these people have no, they don't care whatsoever um because right now it's much closer to like i'm sharing with like my friends my family and yeah. people that i've been talking to for years and so i yeah i just want to see i want to see if people that don't know me at all would be interested in it and that's an important that's why i'm so like be mean be 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 critical you know tell me if you don't like it tell me exactly why um because it's an important step to take you know and it's it's scary but it it's got to happen at some point right so so yeah uh, I'll send other links at some point to like the the itch that it's going to show up on and whatever. But I forget what you said that I started talking about this. Oh yeah, you said the the website disappeared. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally have wasn't doing my due diligence before we started today. So no, that's fine. Yeah. It, the website's gone. Um, I, I'm changing that over. Uh, my Twitter is still there, and you can follow me and talk to me there. Uh, mm -hmm. And I have a different Twitter that I'm going to start using for game dev for that exact reason, just to start being like, okay, it's it's you know. Um, this one is for only if you like specifically this and, you know, people that don't know who I am because my name's not attached to it. Yeah. Uh, they'll, yeah, they'll be maybe more free to just be blunt. And if no one cares, then no one cares, right? So, yeah, that's that's where I'm going with that, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I and Hikaru says constructive criticism is, is very important. Huge. It's huge. Yeah. Um, and Hikaru says, I'd love to do more to help with the game, but I doubt my PC could handle it. I have less than 15 gigabytes space on the thing. Yeah, the game itself is 3.14 gigs. And Sean, I think your computer is probably pretty decent. And you you had a bit of some frame drops in the water level, but that's also because you're also you have Discord open and you're streaming on OBS at the same time. Yes. Right? You have a bunch of other stuff open. So it's right. a little bit like if you didn't have all that stuff open, it would probably be fine. Uh, hopefully my criticism has been fair. I mean, from what I've seen, you could probably, you, you could rip and tear further. Come on, William, get, get mean. I think, <laughs> I think William, cause William has, we've talked a bunch in DMs sometimes about art in general. So I think William, I'm, I'm really, I haven't seen tons of your criticism. William, uh, maybe there's more in chat, but I don't know if I've seen it. Yeah. Um, but if you get a, uh, a chance, you can lay in. I think your perceptions will be really valid. Uh, I, um, I I appreciate the folks that were that didn't pull any punches. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sethi. Thank you, Stormwolf. Uh, for you know y'all y'all actually like trying to to do more towards making this game like you know. Uh, yeah, make me better. Yeah, you know, which is yeah, which is always important. Like that that's that's helpful for any game dev. And I you know also. Um, and it's something I, I've been able to appreciate with them, like testing TTRPGs with them as well, because they're, yeah. they're very, uh, in a lot of cases are my, my play group is very particular. So I'm glad that they can also bleed that in towards, uh, doing it, testing your games as well. So, yeah. It, Cause that, and that's the thing I actually really appreciate it. Cause you understand, I don't like in my, in my day to day life, I talk to like Carol Ann and that's about it. I don't have, uh, I don't know. I don't, don't talk tons of my family. Like I don't have that many friends. And so it's like having a group of people to actually be able to show stuff to is soup. Like I really don't have that outside of this. Yeah. Right. So it's really nice to just be like, yeah, what do you, what do you think? I don't know. I can't say that enough. It's really nice to have actual unfiltered real feedback. Uh, would you be down towards uh, doing more uh, te like test videos on like your early builds of the next ones in the future? Oh yeah, yeah. No, every time, it's just it just takes so long. But it should be that's why I wanted to chop them up into smaller vignettes so I can actually participate with people more frequently. Sweet. And so the next one, I really feel like famous last words, and it always takes longer than I think. <laughs> but uh, give me like two months. I, I, my plan is I think I'll have the basics of it in like a week. Uh, it's the, I've already done. You've seen the the, the spaceships flying around. I, I have the entire story there. I have all the recordings. Everything's there. 
Uh, I just have to, oh, oh, and I also switched to, I ported it to Unreal 5. That was also oh. part of what I was doing. Yeah, I actually, no, I remember um, you talking about the the transition to that a while ago. Yeah. Back. Yeah. So I'm in Unreal 5 now. And so my backgrounds, I've been taking photograms for a really long time. Uh, and I'm creating the backgrounds out of these really high resolution, beautiful photograms and these 3D reconstructions. So I just want to make it look kind of better than it currently looks. Um, but it's not a complex game, which is by design. It's meant to be something simple that I can put out relatively quickly. Mm. So I'll just keep posted. But yeah, a couple weeks, a couple months, we'll have something to show and we can really see. Uh, yeah. That, that and so for her car. Yeah, this the, the to dream of dancing was actually Unreal 4 still. Uh, and the end is Unreal 5. But the footage that you saw, that was the end in Unreal 4. So yeah, the, the end in Unreal 5 looks ridiculous. Yeah, I can't wait to show you. It looks ridiculous. It looks so good. Wow. Uh, it's beautiful. And so I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, but to Hikaru, actually, I don't know. It depends. If you have 15 gigabytes of space on your computer, you might. It's it's a three gigabyte file. Uh, you might be able to play it and then d delete it right away to gain the space back. But yeah, yeah I, I can't. I can't just reading chat the same time. I can't wait to show the, the end in Unreal 5. It looks ridiculous. And that... I'm pretty sure is at least about an hour of gameplay, maybe an hour and a half. I um, I'm going a little bit further yeah. up. Ah, oh, yeah, I see that one Nintendo nerd you redeemed for Lucas and I to sing a song with our, after redeeming Crit Die. That this is not the stream for that, but I'll hold you to it for my next suffering circuit. I mean, I'm, 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 unless that's a that's a thing, but like, yeah, I don't know. It, I just that not not the stream for that. Sorry, yeah. sorry, dude. <laughs> Oh, and also for Hikaru, uh, I tested it on my old Surface Pro 4. I thought it was a Surface Pro Pro 3, but it's a Surface Pro 4. It's like a decade old now. Literally, my actually, it's probably eight or nine years old. Um, and it ran. It ran fine. Uh, not fine. It ran choppy on the Surface Pro 4. So if, uh, if you can look at the specs of what a Surface Pro 4 is uh, and compare that to your computer, uh, it'll, you know, it should work. I will probably test it on a couple other devices that are uh, in my household, just like older PCs. Um, if you can, heck yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, just to kind of give you give give you some details. I mean, it's what I had to do in my old playtesting job, so why not? Well, that's right? what I love. Like yeah. you, you have a fair amount of experience. You you know what you're talking about in terms of game loop and stuff like that as well. So, um, yeah. So I'll, I'll show you guys. Uh, I'm going to try and wrap up the, to Dream of Dancing over the next, especially few days, maybe a week. Uh, and so I don't want to make big changes to this prototype. I might do that later, but I don't want to make big changes to this prototype. I just want to, if I can solve it by adding a different blurb at the beginning or in the, the download page, that'll be the thing. And so that's the, my main focus. And so anyway, yeah, I'm just repeating myself now. Uh, William, well, I can answer that question. Uh, what it was, was all the character movements mocap and who was the person? I believe Carol Ann did all the mocap for these performances, correct? Yeah, that was entirely. So what happened was uh, I got uh, some sponsorships, um, years and years ago. And, uh, we got a mocap suit for a really good deal because the mocap can be like millions of dollars. And we got a mocap suit for, I think like 2,500 bucks. Uh, and, uh, and then the software to kind of run it and stuff like that. So all of the mocap is Carol Ann. And then I have to go in and click cause the mocap data is really rough. There's mm -hmm. a lot of hitches to it. it. It's a really good jumping off point. Um, and you have to get as clean data as you can. And that's all from Carol Ann and her movements. Uh, and then, uh, and then I cleaned it up afterwards. I think I might have a photo somewhere of Carol Ann in the suit. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of funny. I was going to say, I, I, I remember the, I think you have a video of, uh, on the chat on your channel of like her also doing the mocap as well. So yeah, that that's the era of photos that I'm thinking of. I don't think I have that video anymore. And it's just like, it's a really quick Mm. snippet of uh send, yeah, send it to me yeah. I'll, uh, I'll 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 post it up well we're we're, we're we're going all in on this okay so when do i think when did i do that mocap it would have been uh or take that photo i mean it would have been like was it 2019 was it 28 it would have been maybe the end of 2019 did you post like a video response around uh, like or, or, or like uh, like around the same time that you got it because 
I did. Oh uh, yeah, I posted like um, I posted like an unboxing video at one point. That was about three years ago. So was three years ago. So that was about 2020. Yeah. So maybe it's. Oh oh, I see. Okay, somewhere around here. <laughs> somewhere around here. I'm just scrolling through my old photos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. We did it. Oh my god, I should send you this one as well. I, I, okay. Uh. Yeah, uh, I'm. I I appreciate how respectful y'all have been in chat, not asking, but I know that it's going to get asked soon when somebody What's comes in and blurbs. Uh, when are you returning for a future twenty one XX video? Um, I don't know. I mean, it now might be a good time because I'm doing. I'm out of the the thick of trying to crank out this specific prototype. I'm still looking for that photo. Uh. Yeah, no, that's fair. I, I've actually, uh, and I, I don't know if you know this, and I, I didn't, I don't think I posted it to you, so I'll also send this to you as well over DMs. But um, this is out now. You can actually download and just grab the, grab the like a public book to play this game what? with. Yes, it's been out. It's been a thing. Uh, so, and it, it's, it's only, it's two hundred and eighty-three pages, and it only has content from three games. So, All right, well. um, but like, I wanted to get something out much like how we've been talking about how you wanted to get like, a, like valid, constructive criticism from people who aren't just trying to be kind because they know who you are. Right? I am also yeah. trying to do the same thing by releasing this public release in this website for 21XX so people can provide their unbiased feedback anonymously by newsletters or joining yeah. the Discord and being like, I have no idea what this is. I want to join for games, give you give you material. We actually have been playtesting at conventions. We were at Akon earlier in June. Uh, How which did was, it go? It was fantastic. We actually had a bigger turnout than the Avatar TTRPG did. Whoa! Yeah, right. Um, I was I I my mind was blown. Like we weren't even supposed to have like proper table space. Like they because they they I tried registering before initially with Akon and they were like. Uh, well, you can't, uh, uh, you're not, like, big enough, and you're not actually selling anything, so we can't actually give you, like, a dedicated vendor or table space for it. So, like, okay, so we'll just take some of the game tables. When we came in with all of our materials, and we started talking to people and advertising, we had the folks, like, the actual members of Akon coming in, like, uh, asking us if we had been put in the wrong tables or something like that, or if we yeah. had done this, and I'm like, no. No, this is how the process was. They told me how to properly do that process. So it, it's entirely by networking. It's who you know, which is frustrating as hell. But like, it's then they're like, just let us know next year and we'll get you taken care of. And we had two dedicated table spaces for the next three days. No questions asked about just running games. We we played 21XX. I think we played a little bit of Stargate, a little bit of Pokemon Tabletop, uh, some Magic. And the 21XX had a really good turnout. Uh, That's so amazing. Much, so much so that we actually got invited to other cons for next year. Uh, Congratulations. Which, That's amazing. Yeah. I'm very excited. Um, but uh, hopefully, uh, like I, I have a lot of them in the U.S. If, if there's anything going on in Vancouver, I may head in your direction at some point. Uh, That'd be sick. That would come see you. Yeah. Right. I, yeah. It's just a quick boat trip. I take the ferry over. It'd be there in <laughs> hours. I, I mean, it, it's, it, it's fine. It's, it's closer than a 21 hour drive. I'll take it. Close so, enough. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's it. Congratulations. You've Thank been working you. so hard and you deserve to have that feedback. That's amazing. Yay. Um, but like again, like hearing you say that as far as like like the game development process, like I I feel every little bit of like that pain and frustration when I can't like when I have people that are like that that they're dedicated to their fandom, so they don't want to upset the people that are trying to make the best out of it. When yeah, that's not the point of why I do the what I do. I'm trying to and make something. I think it's important. Yeah. It's important to reassure people because I, I get it. I get it. They don't want to. Yeah, I get it. They don't want to mess up the relationship. But I think it's important to reassure people. It's like you won't. I can take it. You know, you won't. I won't be mad at you if you don't like this. Right. Oh, yeah. Like I, I won't. I, you know what I mean? I won't take it out on you if this isn't your cup of tea. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I, I completely get people. I don't know. I get it. Yeah, uh, here's here's the, I put up the picture of Carol Ann in in her on the mocap. So yeah, that was when we did the full meal deal, facial and body at the same time, and uh, we stopped doing that because the facial mocap just wasn't up to snuff. Yeah. I still use the facial mocap sometimes to lay a base uh, 
of work on. Uh, but we do that separately now. We just do the body on its own, and then we do the the face, and then I have to do the hands separately because um, the hand mocap is in, is like another three grand, and I just I was like, whatever, I can do that differently. Uh, but yeah, that's the mocap. To answer William's question, that's the mocap suit, and it's all Carol Ann. Um, I don't even fit in that suit. <laughs> uh, so, and we did that by design because uh, I have to man the computer to on the technical side. I also see, I think Rekka, where is it? Rekka said, how many vignettes is this series going to be? Um, right now, I actually have to count in my head. I, I, was, I, was, I was thinking, okay, so there's this, there's that one. My 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 brain I, says five, but I don't know if that's if that's correct. I, so. I have to type it in. So there's like this one, <laughs> that one, uh, that one. Uh, think with your brain. That one's really cool. I'm really excited for that one. That one's a secret. So that's four, and then five, and then six. And then after six, so let me just count. So there's that, 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 that. After six, I'd have to really think if there's anything else I haven't mopped up. I, so right now I'm going to say it's about six. Okay, so Rekka and I were both one off. That's unfortunate. Uh, but no, one more, that's one more. That's, that, that, that's, that's, that's more Lamplack gameplay. I'm down for this. Yeah, uh, six six vignettes, and and my hope is to get one out every two months. Okay. Starting, and we we have this first one is out basically now. So, every two or three months from now, I want to have uh, one of these little vignettes out, and then we'll decide: is this all one game? Should I extrapolate and make a bigger part from one of these vignettes? Uh, and we'll go from there. Yeah. Uh. Oh, William says, to be fair, I think you need to say more than just, this sucks, okay? You don't like it? Please tell the creator why you don't like it. I agree with that. Yeah. that that's, no, that's it's fair. true. It's true. Um, but sometimes people, because um, William, you're, you're really eloquent. You're well-spoken. And so not everyone has the ability to kind of really interpret why they feel how they feel. Yeah. In fact, a lot of people who play video games, it's just their gut reaction. And they're mm -hmm. not really thinking about it, right? They're like, ah, I hate this. Ugh. And it's like, well, but maybe it was boredom. Was it frustration? Was it, you know, like which aspect was it that you didn't like? Mm. Um, and it, it can be hard to be eloquent about that. And so I don't know. I actually don't know if William's given feedback. William, did you already play it and you sent the feedback anonymously or did you send it somewhere somewhere else? I don't know where William sent feedback. I, I think William constantly sends feedback on your uh, Discord specifically and just like the general Discord? Lamp Black chat. Like, just, okay. just like Look. in, like, just the Look. Lamp Black Yeah, no, William's general, great. So. I have to just see it. William's been great so far. William does, gives a lot of good conversation about art and art arty things. Like, mm. William sent me a bunch of cool, uh, like, painting artists, mm. uh, which is really cool because you can even see in the background of the mocap thing that Caroline is in, there's like random paintings in the background. So paintings... Uh, a painting focus uh, vignette is also in the works. Uh, and, and that one, uh, it was going to be third person and I programmed all of it. Like you, you pick up and you hang these paintings and you establish this art show. And I was like, I just feel like this is better in first person. I just feel like it shouldn't be in third person. So that was a fundamental change, mm. um, you know, and Rekka is, is excited. I'm excited for that one a lot as well. That one's going to be great. Is that, that... It's just a... Oh, sorry. Yeah, but... you're good. <laughs> I, I didn't well, mean I just... to interrupt. <laughs> well, that that one is very much that one's really cool. Uh, it's just that I wanted to present it differently, and so uh, I had to I had to give that more time to breathe. Like again, as with most of these vignettes, most of the work is done. It's just that is it the right work, or should I do better, and how do I show it to people? So the painting one's going to be really cool. the The main mechanic of that one is. Uh, in, in the third person version, it was a lot like you go around picking up paintings and hanging them on the wall. Mm. Um, and that was a really a main part of it, which is fine. And I can show people that gameplay because I was like, well, maybe it's kind of like a sim, like you're, you're establishing this art show and, and you get to choose the gameplays that you get to choose which paintings make it into the show and which paintings don't. Um, and the paintings that don't make it in the show get burned. And that kind of means something like maybe there's like a spirit in the painting that gets destroyed if you don't pick that painting. Um, that's... And so you get to choose and there's like, yeah, the art show morphs and, and you choose what the art show is. And uh, the picking up and putting down of it works. I just, I was like, maybe it, it made it really hard to see the paintings. Yeah. And what I wanted people to do is I wanted to demand people to actually look at the paintings. Uh, because if you look at specific paintings, it would um, 
zap this thing in your eye and it starts to grow and take over the screen. And it was just a little bit weird in three in a third person. It, it worked. Yeah. But I didn't know if it was as good as it could be in first person. <clears throat> and then what oh, and then also in that same thing, I did a lot of work on this conversation component where the coolness of the gameplay is that the conversation really changes dynamically depending on what you're doing. Like mm. if you're closer or further from a character, they they modulate their voice and they speak louder and, and what they say changes. Like if you're up close, it's just different. If you're far away, it's different. If you're holding this thing, it's different and whatever, it just kind of unfolds differently depending on what you're doing. Uh, and that started to be the more meaningful experience of the game rather than the third person picking up and putting down paintings. And so it just, fundamental game design things where I have to really sit with that one and be like, what part is actually fun to play? But it might be worth it to show people the third person version and be like, is this, does this work? Yeah. Right. Or, you know, uh, because uh, as it is right now, I'm probably just going to make, change it into first person. But I, I was um, very actually enraptured by like when you initially kind of talked about like how those conversational like pieces like change like that, that got me very excited to see it. But like, yeah, I also really like the concept of, uh, and I don't know if you've ever played the game Occupy White Walls before. Uh, it very much is a, um, the same pro the premise of where you basically create your own art museum. And yeah, I've you, seen it. Yeah. yeah, no, it's, um, but like having it with actual stakes sounds very, like very unique. And, like just the thought of like just losing some like making effectively like destroying like uh, like um or like showcasing and then destroying other pieces of art and seeing what happens that sounds that sounds wacky yeah. that sounds great so and it kind of makes you feel bad if you get rid of this art because like you only have so many spaces on the wall yeah and so you have to choose which one and then you get more art and, and then you have to choose so i what also that was also why i was like i have to chop this into smaller vignettes because when all of them were in the same project, I was really sitting there being like, I, these are all separate games. Like yeah. I have this dancing mechanic, which is dope. I have this, um, and also for, oh God, one thing at a time, Lucas. And then the <laughs> like the conversation system, you, I could make a whole game just out of the conversation system. And then the hanging the painting, I'm like that could be its whole own game. The end is its whole own game. Like each, and I've I've done so much work on each aspect of this, this vignette based piece. And I was like, it's just so hard because I don't know which part to focus on finishing at any given time. So I've worked on each piece kind of in tandem. So none of them are polished and none of them are done, but they're all like mostly done. So I wanted to chop them up so I could actually put them out there and see what people cared about. Like, mm. like Bon saying, um, oh, there's a reason I was saying that. Damn, I forgot. I, was, I, had, so, I had a point I was moving towards. Rekka says but so yeah. many ideas, but no cohesive way to connect them. Yeah and, yeah, and so I wanted to, like, and it was getting really technically difficult. Also, I wanted to switch to Unreal 5, and, uh, you know, there's just so much going on. It's like, just chop it into smaller, more manageable bits. Get those out. Oh, for the To Dream of Dancing, um, the next thing that I'm working on, uh, so you can see the binary tree dance, where it's yeah. like you have two options. Every single node, you have two options. You go left or right. Uh, and then in the beach area, which you broke, you have the free dance, <laughs> which you can jump and you can tumble and you can do a bunch of different stuff. Um, but that's still a little stiff. Yeah. And so the next thing that I'm working on is uh, a, a full combo-based dance system, much more like you'd see in a fighting game, where it's not fighting, it's dancing, but it's combo-based, where you press buttons, and it's like, oh, it kind of just dances. So that's where that one is going, is that ultimately you'll go through a bunch of stuff, and then you kind of just be able to dance like you would a fighting game. Um, at some point, if uh, people care about it enough that, that I should finish that whole idea. You know? I... I actually really like that because um, it could be something like even if it's not like throughout like the main like or, or like not something that like gets into like the main crux of your gameplay. I I actually really like the idea of having like the the option of going back to like the open dancing mode and being able to like do that as just like a yep. thing like an unlockable for like you completed you got this far, go ahead and do it without any time or restrictions because that just In that seems really that seems like a a nice nod to the fact that the the player has like has done that right so in into dream of dancing into dream of dancing yes cool yeah. So, yeah so you can just go there do you mean like to to the player can choose like once they've unlocked it yeah. they can choose just to go back to that yeah that'd be, i can do that maybe can... maybe just like a button command that's like not like it it not entirely obtrusive away from like the title maybe because you have all that extra space up top and on the bottom once you've unlocked it, just say like you've un you've you've unlocked this mode. Uh, press well, this button to return to it. 
So the fun thing is that already exists because for for testing purposes, uh, I created a bunch of hot uh, hot keys that yeah. I could jump around the different levels. And so I think if you play, oh, oh, let me see if I can. If you play the game and you press Shift O, it'll take you directly to the. Uh, yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah. Uh, no, like that. Uh, uh, so I and can see that. You hit tab. Yeah. If you hit tab right now. It should skip this. There you go. Let's see. Can I break it again? No, don't break it again. No. No, did you immediately break it again? <laughs> you I did. I think I did. <laughs> How are you breaking it like this? I, you know what I did? I pressed. Oh, no, 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 no. She's, she's just tum. Wait. If you move the mouse and if you press uh, spacebar, what happens? Nothing. She is stuck. Oh my god. She is you, stuck you, on the it, floor. You can actually break it that easy. I had no idea. I That's pressed, wild. I pressed. I, I think what I did is I left clicked, pressed W shift and space at the same time oh. okay so i think what this is she's still in child's pose like she's on the title screen yeah oh so if you if you hit shift p and then go back to shift o uh, so if, uh, I, if i don't press shift it doesn't break it yeah oh man so i think what part of that is is it's not completely because it's like a, a testing thing you can hear there's a bunch of music playing that shouldn't be playing, so it's not completely there. Uh, I also think that I may have just bugged it out by immediately going to this after not playing the gameplay loop. I think you, you did, because now there's two orbs flying around. Whee! And that shouldn't be the case. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just keep breaking well, your game, but it, Lucas. But it makes sense, because uh, those hotkeys, they're not meant to be part of gameplay. Yeah. But that just shows that it's like... So can I just keep spawning a no, bunch of these at the now. same time? That she had no pants, she had no skirt. I'm sorry. I Oh god. I got the a third I, I, orb. <laughs> I can just keep making more of them. Oh god, wait, are they still floating? They're they're still th now they're here! Now they're here and they have they're not going away! You know what? That's kinda oh, cool. Oh no! What yeah, have okay, I that done? Makes sense. That makes sense. It doesn't like Okay, that makes I can fix that. Oh, uh, hey, we're, we're learning things today, <laughs> Sean, please. I think, the, I think the only way to fix that now is to escape and go back in. I, I think now it is going to be broken. There's no coming back from that. That is, uh, but I mean, you know what? It actually looks kind of cool. It looks really pretty, yeah. Um, yeah there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, minor aside, but I'll mention it because I see Lupa asking, uh, let me, I just missed the thing. Uh, down, I went too far up. It's gone now. Uh, any other cons happening in Texas because I'm going to drag my bro and his girlfriend kicking and screaming if I have to go to one of those playtests. The next uh, convention we have in Texas is at ATG Expo in January of 2023. If you're... Or 20, 20, 20, 2024! Sorry, we're not time travelers. <laughs> January of 2024. Thank you, baby. Um, uh, just well, that, That'll be info on that. And uh, more, more cons for the rest of the year. I think we're going back to Gen Con next year. We may be we, if we don't do Gen Con, we may do Comic Con, and yeah, I I can find a place up in up north. I've been wanting to go back to Canada for a while, so um, that sounds fun. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, my I yeah, this stage kind of looks wacky, dude. I'm sorry, I did not mean to break this. Uh, it's it's because it's treating the cameras as though you're still in free dance, and the cameras are slowly zooming out and backing away. So it's 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 conducting itself in very different level behavior. It's it's kind and all of the music. Is, it's kind of terrifying, actually. I know it kind of, and we, you, that's what you said about if there's glitches in this because it's so dreamy, you yeah. kind of get away with it. Because now, uh, yeah, what are these orbs? And um, I, I have. <laughs> They're they're meant to be something specific, but I kind of made them more ambiguous so that it was a little bit less clear what they were. Yeah. So I don't think anyone will, will get that. But um, I, those are things. I I appreciate like I, I appreciate the horror vibe. I appreciate kind of the weird sci-fi vibe that comes through some of these some of the aspects. Well, of it. and hopefully hopefully it's not too creepy because I think sometimes I make stuff that's super dark and 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 horror based and yeah. uh, and a lot of the feedback that I got from a lot of people like I'm just not that into horror. Uh, whereas I definitely am. I yeah. love horror movies, horror, like all that stuff. I'm super into it. So if you're not into horror, but then the thing is, is, is like, did what you play? Yeah, it's super broken now. 
Actually, if you let it just go through this and it plays this cinematic, it'll probably fix itself at the end of this cinematic. Um, actually, that's pretty cool. She's looking at the orbs then. Interesting. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, if you're not into horror, I, how, how horrorful did it feel? Like, it wasn't so horrorful. It's maybe a bit grotesque in a couple moments. And then there is that one scene where she shoots herself in the head. That's yeah, sure pretty that, good. that one, it's pretty good. the M rating is real. Um, Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, that was that was probably, I like, think, the darkest that it got in particular. And I yeah. I think that I think that's okay. I, I think what actually, I think what kind of makes it off-putting um, for me is just, like, how much or, like, her aspects of her changes because you yeah. see how she is how she looks like when she's going through the forest and it's completely different to what she looks like now when she's going through the dance and like all the other things like there's a there, like there's a definitive change like a difference and like i that's a little unsettling um like yeah. oh, this is unsettling just watching this entire experience and watching her effectively be like being yeah well the, the orb but just like being conducted to like do yeah. things like that's like well so i th i think what hikaru and sethi cakes are saying is 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 really valid so hikaru is saying I'm, I'm a coward when it comes to horror and i feel like i could play this and still get some spooks yeah and then sethi is like well i have a lot of experience with horror and this doesn't give me horror vibes so i i think art project yeah is definitely valid i think um it's dark fantasy but i think dark fantasy as a uh, genre is really overused it's not really that yeah it's it's kind of spooky but it's like fantasy horror it's kind of like a if you had guillermo del toro something but then maybe even lighter than that yeah you know okay it didn't completely fix itself no nope. after that reset the, the, the orbs you know what are it still is there. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's because the reference that deletes the orbs uh, is expecting there to only be one orb, and so it's it's not able to get rid of multiple orbs. That's probably what that is. A abstract horror is a really interesting way of putting that. Yeah, abstract horror or art house horror, or I think, that, again, the word horror is such a heavy word, and it really makes people think of, like, jump scares and stuff like that, um, which there there isn't in this game. Uh, and then if you call it a psychological horror... I think that even conjures up things like Insidious and The Conjuring and, and that, or, or like uh, Midsommar and, and different films. Yeah. Which again, isn't really horrib, horribie. It's a it's a it's a B-horror. That, that's what it a is, B a B-horror. Horror. Yeah. Yeah, B-movie, like B-horror. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's horror adjacent. Yeah. Um, Because it's spooky and dark. I really feel like, like if you've seen... um. For Sethi Cakes, if you've seen a bit of Guillermo del Toro, yeah, surreal horror. But yeah. again, I'm using the word horror. So I think is whenever you use the word horror, it's like, I don't know. It's, uh... Maybe feel scared at times. So for Sethi Cakes, have you seen a bunch of Guillermo... Like, what about Pan's Labyrinth? Because Pan's Labyrinth, I would call, like, a fantasy horror. But uh, in Pan's Labyrinth, I never felt scared, right? Oh, okay. Um... I think there's a genre, and I think, in my opinion, Guillermo del Toro, like uh, Shape of Water and uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. It's it's they call it horror, but it's mostly just beautiful, but but macabre. It's unsettling. And yeah. It's unsettling, yeah. and so it's like, well, this is um, and I think that's what I'm trying for to varying degrees of success. It's something that's like it's unsettling and beautiful and macabre and surreal and dreamlike. Uh. And yeah, like Hikaru says, it doesn't have to have jump scares. It's just eerie. So I think horror is probably fair. And then uh, if you classify with other tags, like surreal horror, abstract horror, or um, fantasy horror, things like that, it might give people the right idea um, of exactly what type. I think given the amount of like differences in each of the respective vignettes, it allows you to kind of try, like, try, try different things. And yeah, given the fact that it's like it's it's weird because there isn't anything like inherently like i because i i do kind of understand the prospect of like you know it's it's not scary it's unsettling but like yeah. there there were actively moments where i'm like i i am creeped out by what's going on but it's it's not like i'm afraid it's 
but you're, you're creeped I, out. I'm yeah, creeped it's, out. It's, yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's, I think that's fine for like what you're trying to get across with it. So yeah, absolutely. And it, it'll be fun to do, to go from this into something that's just much more, it's a love story. It's yeah. not creepy at all. It's just beautiful. And it's just a love story. And I think it'll, I think that'll help to give people less of a sense that it won't help at all give an idea of the overarching story. Yeah. Um, but it'll help give an impression of like, here's the different things that you can experience. And they're not all creepy. They're not all beautiful. Uh, and so probably after that one, I'll, I think after the end, I'll probably do the art show one. Uh, and then that'll be where you get more of the story. And so, or of the overarching kind of idea. Um, and it'll be cool to show. I think once those first three vignettes are out, that's where that's when it'll it'll be enough of like, oh, okay, so this is sort of the full idea, you know. Okay. Um, and then we'll go from there and see if it should be one thing or if many different things. Because there's nothing wrong with having many, many different examples of stuff that that I've I've made. Uh, you know, you can send it to publishers if you want, and you can, I don't know, just do different things to see where it should go. Yeah. But yeah. I I think this is especially considering we've been we've been talking really like just kind of literally this is the last hour and a half it's just been straight straight feedback straight just kind of discussion i, yeah, I feel like great. this is a good cutoff point are you are absolutely you cool with that okay i am down um man thank you for like sitting hey, no, down and like playing through this or like like just ex allowing us to experience like this because oh god that's very loud i was gonna play your i was gonna play forest nymph because i like that track um but no, I I I'm looking forward to seeing like how things change as like each of the builds come through. Send 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 them at me when 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 they're a thing because I I'm not always able to follow things as it goes on actively on the That's fine. on the Discord. But like if you send it to me, I will play it. So absolutely, yeah. And no, I'll I'll let you know, and, and I'll uh I'll jump into the twenty uh, one XX as well. Ye yeah, yeah, she. She hasn't posed in the start menu yet. Yeah, I think it's because there's um, a lot of chaotic stuff happening, and so she she's getting triggered back into the animation montage. Mm. When when she stands up straight, I'm just I'm I'm pretty sure what it is is that there's a hitch in the logic that's repeating her her pose animation logic. It's just weird because like when you look at it, you can't tell. Yeah. There's nothing. There's no problems with the logic. Uh, but I think it's a timing thing. I think one of the animations that it can play is too short, and so it doesn't. It somehow doesn't get triggered even though that shouldn't exist, that shouldn't mm. be a problem. It just doesn't trigger, and so it goes to her neutral base pose, which is effectively almost a T pose, is basically what that's doing. Um, but you can't see the T pose part because her, her upper body's out of frame. Mm. Yeah, fixing the game is breaking the game. That's exactly it. That's usually how it goes. Anyway. Come on, you, you know how this goes. You're a 21XX yeah. play tester. Um. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, no, thank you for having me, and thank you for playing it. It was really, really useful and helpful to be able to sit down with someone and play through it with them mm. uh to get like that really immediate feedback about what works and what isn't working and stuff like that yeah uh um, so, yeah that's great if if you guys want to follow lucas's content again we've posted the uh uh the link to uh the uh for, for the discord autumn can you send it one more time uh it's still still up on uh on discord as well or on on discord on uh youtube derp um but yeah uh be sure to also uh, uh comment uh we've got a thread open uh on our discord as well let's let's get let's get talking about it uh are you cool with me potentially sharing a like just a separate link of this of this build or uh yeah, sure no, okay yeah, that's fine okay yeah. uh so for those who are on the control alt crit discord if you'd like to experience to dream of dancing for yourself and maybe uh find uh any of the things i may have missed please do um experience it and let us know how you feel about it um and uh as well yeah uh, support everything so uh, uh lucas and carol ann do fantastic work on many projects uh i i i'm gonna plug you guys and all the work that you guys do uh they do fantastic voice work on a variety of other games as well uh if you guys have ever played a hat in time that was done by the uh, folks at the hermit collective um also uh voice work for nine noir lives which by the way uh, is one of Luca's favorite games right now. My oh, daughter, really? my daughter loves 
play. No way. Yeah, no. That's amazing. Yeah, no. She, I, 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 I ended up getting it off of GOG for her just to just to let her play it. And I'm like, I like, I gave her like a few games. I gave her like that and like Panzer Dragoon and like a couple of other adventure games. Her two games that she plays on PC ninety percent of the time is Alpha Centauri. Weirdly enough. Uh, and oh, Nine Dwar Lives of all that's things. That's amazing. Uh, and oh, that's funny. she had a, I I did not, was unable to figure out the entire like opening tiki area because I guess I'm a dumb person. And she figured yeah. it out. Like she has the adventure game logic down pat, which yeah, I think yeah, is yeah. glorious. Uh, oh, for oh. not playing it, but yeah, no. Um, I I told her that I, uh, I it's like I I know I know the I know I know the voice of the main character, and she's like, nah, no, you don't. No, 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 you, no, you don't. <laughs> Come on, oh, Daddy, you're so pulling funny. my leg. No, you don't. Um, so yeah, no. Uh, also, one of the games I actually really want to play that I haven't had the chance yet is playing the Ballad Singer because I wanted to hear you guys like oh, actually man. DM content. I the the Ballad Singer is is old. That was such that was an arduous project to record. There, it, that was oh my god, that was rough. That was rough business. It, I mean, it, I, I think the it, it's it's great voice. Uh, you know, give it a shot. I don't know. That was a rough recording process, though. I, I, the main the the main reason I have always wanted to play it was to advocate that you should actually do some. You should actually DM like RPG games sometime because I you think would, that'd be fun. You would be I a think fantastic I it. like because like, you, cause you you perform well so it's like yeah that's that's all you need to do you need to make you need to keep people interested and like and just like get them excited in your characters and like your story yeah. you know so i think i i suck at playing rpgs like like ttrpgs and stuff like that i just think i'm bad at it yeah uh and so i think my i have a weird experience with it because uh i i've done it so infrequently and so i i'm like oh my god i suck at this like I am just, I will just do the most random things because I'm not experienced with it. And I yeah. feel like I kind of ruin the experience. And so I'm a little bit like, uh, I'm a bit of a monkey wrench in these plans here. You know, I, uh, I don't know, man, because I, and I, every person I talk to about even like, even with, even with the, the, the monster factory that was Octopippo, like yeah. that was a, that was a fun experience. You like, you got in character, you did things, you tried things and that's all I can ask for anybody, like in games. But I'm saying, like, I mean, if uh, you were, if you were to actually like run, like run your own game as like a game master, I think you would yeah. be able to create something really special. Hell, I, I actually, uh, and I don't know who you need to talk to about this, but given the amount of ideas and things that you have for Lamp Black, maybe you could turn that into some type of role playing type of adventure. I could see it. I could... Oh, should I? Do you think people would care? I didn't made me think of a link. Yeah. Sent it to you and Twitch. What what you got? Let me see collab if I can chat. find it. If you it's in the collab chat with uh you and Twitch, the right. videos of Zero and Iris in Unreal. That's still in Unreal Four. So I I could show it. I didn't know if you wanted people to the. I'll, show it. I, I don't know. Show it. See if people because not that many people see it. But I'm like, I think this is pretty cool. I think it looks pretty sick. I'll post it in the Twenty One XX general chat on our Discord since I have all the power with Nitro. Heck yeah. Um. And folks can take a look. Uh, this animation. Sorry for sorry for tagging you. Was created by Lucas. Well, the one the one with him running around. That's that's gameplay. That's yeah. straight up. You can play that. That's a. Oh man! Don't tell me that. that if that's real. That's that's gameplay. That's you're holding a keyboard and you're running around in third person like I, that, right? That. I, you know what? This 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 gameplay loop. Then I'll just put gameplay. Right? Like gonna, I think that's kind of fun. Yeah, man. Now you now you're gonna now now people are gonna get their hopes up. No, this this I I can't you I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna showcase a I don't wanna showcase a Mega Man thing for a lamp black video. You wanna take a look at it? Join our Discord. Okay. <laughs> um, just because I you know, but no, abs absolutely, man. Like I uh, please, folks, follow. Follow the Lamp Black project. Uh, check out all of Lucas's other content. He does great work, and he's a fantastic, uh, fa fantastic creator. Uh, his wife is also uh, does fantastic work as well. Um, and uh, look forward to more updates on Lamp Black. We'll be posting them as they show up. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. You're too kind. Yee. All right. Yee. Well, let's go ahead and end things for tonight. Good night, everybody. Take care. Bye.